podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. We don't fight for rings and stuff like that. I don't fear anyone. In this sport, I don't want to play. I don't have fear of What up, what up, what up, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Feels like we never left with the immediate reaction, the live fight chat, the morning afterthoughts, but that's what happens when big time boxing is uh, taking place. And, you know, we did episodes before this fight with Ryan Garcia and Luke Campbell asking our community if this was a big fight. And I think that the outcome that manifested uh, has made this fight bigger uh, than it was originally, I believe. Um, Possibly because of the outcome, but happy Sunday, gentlemen. What's going on? Midi across the pond. Got my man Francis all the way in Canada. I think Doomy might be here, but what's up, gentlemen? Yo, what up, what up, what up, Francis, what up, Ness, what up, do me if you're here, and uh, yeah, man, it was, a, it was a big fight, I can, you know, I can say that, but, you know, I'll let Francis and uh, Mario introduce themselves, and we can get into it. Yo, 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 what up, what up to everybody out there, man, thank you to my Lord and Savior for another one, without him, none of this would be possible, shout out to Mehdi, all the way in the UK, UK stand up, Nesta Gears, and New Jersey, soon to be sunny Florida. You man over here in snowed out Toronto, Canada. What's up to everybody out there, man? Great topic we're talking about right now. You know what I'm saying? Ryan Garcia kicked off the year with a bang. And that's what we love in boxing. We got about a, you know, a week or two without some fights. So hopefully this can carry us right through until we get some more fights getting popping. So I'm excited, man. Let's keep it rocking. What up, guys? What's up, man? So... I had reached out to Buddy McGirt. It's Sunday, so, you know, we weren't able to get him on. I I normally don't do guests on Sundays, um, but ESPN posted on their Instagram, um, do we have, like, is there a new Fabulous Four? Uh, Fabulous Four, I'm not a historian. We all know that. I repeat it, so... I, I don't know much about these guys and uh, their their stories and why they were the, considered the Fabulous Four, but what I do know is that ESPN is now comparing Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis, Tiafimo Lopez, and Devin Haney to the Fabulous Four of the past. Mitty, you know, you strike me as a guy that, you know, got into the sport and might have felt the need to do the research can you enlighten us on what you may have picked up along the way about the fabulous four um and can you agree with espn uh on them on these guys being the new fabulous four yeah i mean like so fabulous four like for those of you don't know marvin hagler roberto duran uh my man um Sugar Tom, Ray Tom, Tom, oh. and Thomas the, the Hitman Earn, right? So, and they were the fabulous four because they were the, the force to be reckoned with uh, at that time in the 147 division. Actually, they could really fluctuate between 147, 154, and all the way up to 160. But they, those were the names, those were the G's at the time. And they're saying essentially, like, you have four young, young bulls there, like in Ryan Garcia, Tank. Lopez and David Haney, uh, 
in the future, in the next five, six, seven, ten years, you can see those guys being like the dominant names uh, across multiple divisions. They're already like being talked about a lot at, you know, 135, if you want to include Tang there at 135. Uh, but you can easily see them, you know, being talked about across like 140, 147, right? So uh, that's the kind of comparison you can draw with the uh, the old school like uh, Fabulous Four. And yeah, you know, I'm excited about those names for the future. And right now they're already making big waves, right? So, wow. Uh, and those are pretty, you know, pretty exciting, exciting guys, man. You know. Francis. Yo, yo. What, 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 what have you picked up? on this fab four and uh do you think that our 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 new crop can live up to the old crop um yeah that old that that old crop is dynamite man them them four guys is um four legends man four real real legends in the sport um and we're looking at these four guys to be you know hopefully be legends or hall of famers at one point um in the career so the comparison in terms of um in terms of the trajectory from when they started to where they at, I can I can see it. But the comparison in terms of the pictures that are side by side, you know, they can they can stop it with that because that don't really work for me. Um, <laughs> the 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 in the ring and the out the ring careers definitely I believe can resemble the Fab Four. But in terms of fighting style and stuff like that, nah, they can stop all that. So so when you say the pictures, are you saying that you believe ESPN? was giving who they feel represent each particular fabulous four fighter meaning like ryan is no. next to the to sugar ray so are you saying that they thought like ryan is our version of sugar ray and tank you know because i that's how i interpreted it for me yep yep Yo, let me no. and, and let me give you this wait Mitty, because i interpreted it that way for me right so i'm like all right ryan is fast sugar ray was known to be fast you know he had this thing where 30 seconds of each round they'll uh, slap on the mat and he'll uh, you know he'll shoe shine and, and, and win the round then Tank is considered a, a big puncher and Mano de Piedras is like hands of stone so Robert Duran Tank sounds good now 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 Thomas the Hitman Hearn was tall long great one two from Detroit you know crunk fighter so I, I can't draw any comparisons with Tiafimo Lopez but Hey, Devin Haney and Matt Marvin Hagler either because Haney isn't a big ass puncher like Hagler. But look, they tried, right? Listen, I, I would go slightly differently if if that's the game we want to play, right? If that's the game we want to play, I would say st st stylistically, David Haney uh, would be more of like the, the Sugar Ray because he's the slick, you know, fighter. He can move, he can he can let his hand go too. He doesn't really have the same style as him. But overall, you can just say he's a slickster out of all of them, right? Uh, whereas, like, I would give Lopez as, like, uh, Duran, like, you know, in terms of being short, compact, coming forward, like, throwing his, like, uh, his hooks and, and all that. And I would put Tank as Hagler because, like, the, the power really, not, like, the long, gangly power, but, like, the power short, short punches, usually hooks as well. And uh, and Ryan as Tommy Hearn, like, cause he's like more of like longer type of guy, uh, and just utilizing well his like straight shots. But although Tommy Hearn didn't really have like that same left hook in his locker, but like you know, stylistically, I think that that's more the comparison, like, in my opinion, anyway. But it's just like uh, that's what we want champ. a we game want... that we're playing. You know, we want to get in the mind of Midi to see what he would choose. Go ahead, champ. What's up, Ness? Super chat from Showke who says the Fabulous Four fought each other and didn't duck. They also beat other greats. No <laughs> waiting playing A sides. Yeah, but they're young. Those kids are young. And the Fabulous Four <laughs> like fought each other when like not when they were 21, right? I so. was just about to ask you that, Mitty. Do you know like uh, around what age they started meeting each other? I want to. They, they probably fought in their primes and back in the days. I don't know exactly, but I want to say in, in the late twenties. You know, mm. I, I, I want to say right. So. Uh, I would say they fought between. Let's say they met between the eighties and nineteen eighty and nineteen eighty nine. All right. So I'm not sure. In fact, what backward number to see how their age was? Pardon me, sorry. Uh, late eighties, like so. Mid eighties, late eighties. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Matt, How old would it be? I'd have to check that. Mad Bent 100 has a super chat, and uh, he says Tank is Hagler. Haney, Sugar Ray. That makes sense. Hagler was known as a puncher, but he was. Wasn't he big enough to go to middleweight? I mean, I guess everything can't. You can't check every box, yeah. <laughs> you know? But it would be interesting, you know? Listen, uh, there's obviously people oh i never even said shout out to ethan uh badlands he's an amateur let me show you guys his instagram uh he sent me this hoodie uh we've been supporting him for a while he's about i want to say 14 maybe man but you know he's the next philly reeking up man he's coming he's coming man hopefully we get to uh watch him turn pro man and 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 be able to say that 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 we uh, put you guys on when he was, you know. Look at look at how he looks here, man. This is just still a dream to him, you know. But uh, it's real. It's a real dream, you know. Um, this kid is known by 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 the Dannys and the you know the Cunninghams, the the Rosados. Everybody loves them some Ethan, man. So shout out to Ethan Badlands. Um, he sent me this hoodie. Uh, to continue to support him And uh, we will So you guys I don't know if he's selling his hoodies To be honest with you But I'm going to tell you right from the door This is actually real fire And like I know that sounds cliche Because someone sends you something Oh you, you feel like the need to say something nice But he's actually doing the new style Which is called sublimation now You know for those that uh, You know buy and sell merchandise You know that there's like heat sink And heat transfer and plaster of paris all these different methods of putting people's logo on clothes now but the newest dopest thing that fighters are using specifically is sublimation and you see now that on the fighters shorts there's no longer these dumbass square 12 by 12 patches instead the logo of the brand that is choosing to sponsor you uh is is embedded by di uh, like digital software for uh, um, your the logo onto the clothing, which is called sublimation. So it's fire. This it should just feels it feels better rather than having because when you have a big logo and they use like a plaster of Paris or a heat transfer, it gets hard, and this doesn't lose. So that's pretty dope. But shout out to Ethan, man. Uh, love seeing these young guys, you know, working for their dreams, man. You know, um, we all learn, right? So I I had. The, the pleasure of watching the whole 2012 a, a crop of Olympian amateurs turn pro and become successful pros. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, what's that now? Eight years have passed, right? So I'm going to know how to handle this next crop of pros so that, uh, you know, we don't make those same mistakes. You know what I mean? And I, I believe Ethan will be one of those, man. Um, how big he can get don't know you know hopefully he gets to those divisions that i actually like to talk about can you imagine ethan stays like a 108 <laughs> if, <laughs> if ethan stays 108 i'm gonna be like damn be yo. bad. <laughs> <laughs> like come on Ethan, you gonna make me do this <laughs> <laughs> but no like the fucking hoodie's dope though and it's a good fellas brand so i'm like yo I was feels nice on the body, huh? Feels nice, yo. It's not Love. as thick as my own. Like my borders one, border war one's a little thicker than this. This is like, I'm feeling all right with this. But anyway, enough of that. We got Showcase with another super chat. I'm not sure if you've seen that one. Uh, Duran was Leonard's second title defense. These guys ain't wait, and they fought more than once. Ho ho ho! But the disrespect. Yeah, but but it, you got to think it's about, about it's about the age, though. And those people, I see them like they, they ain't got to lie, and we don't have to to pretend. We can all go and check in the uh, on box rec, right? So, Sugar Ray was 24 when he fought uh, um, Duran, and Duran is like five years older than him. So the guy was 29, and that was in in 80 in 1980. Uh, then they fought like the same year again in the rematch, so I guess they were the same the same age. But then if you go back and look at when Duran fought the others, it's three, four, five years back. So Duran was in his thirties when he fought like the high gloves and the hand and all that. Like you, you don't really have to to lie on those things, and we don't have to to pre to pretend, right? We can just go back and, and check like uh, box rec. They'll get they'll give us the answers, man. 
I mean, uh, but they're all fairly young, and and uh, you know, I mean, part of his super chat is like, oh, in his second fight, as to say, like these guys are having fights and not fighting that caliber. But if you look at a guy like Tio, you know, it was Kome and Vasil, or mm -hmm. or Nakatani Kome and Vasil, and Nakatani proved to at least be mentioned in certain discussions. Maybe not a full blown conversation, but what he did to Verdejo. Uh, needs to be said. So it's not like he was just some guy. He proved he's he's someone who you must learn how to pronounce his name because he's gonna be here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so I think Tio's doing what people perceive the Fabulous Four to do or have done. You know, right? And then Tink, I think he's showing his marvelous Marvin Hagler. You know, mm -hmm. with the power, and 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 he did his thing early. Like we spoke about that this yeah. morning about him taking that Pedraza fight in as an underdog uh, in his first world championship. The thing is that promoters always come to play, right? And Mitty could, you know, Pedraza was a killer, man. Let's not forget, man. When no, he, he fought, was the Pedraza favorite. was known as the knockout punch when he fought. Tank, he was man. the favorite. The only issue with that Pedraza fight was that, you know, he was struggling. He was struggling to make the weight, right? So yeah. he was gonna leave, and then Floyd seen the opportunity to say don't vacate let's we'll give you a bag we got a bag let's for you. let's let's make <laughs> but 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 you see charlo was struggling to make the way but because he wanted to prove something to us mm -hmm. he made the way one more time and beat williams so that's pedraza's fault that he didn't take javon to that serious yeah um but pedraza again sh proved to be a world-class fighter he went on to be a two-time champion um oh. Yeah. <laughs> and and you know what? I wouldn't mind seeing that fight again. Not now, especially after Pedraza has had a little couple of rough fights. I think he looked bad versus Cepeda, right? Then he fights Cepeda too. Yeah, he had fought with Cepeda um, before he fought Baron Ch Branchik, and he looked uh, yeah, he did look a little subpar. Yeah, but, uh, so I would need him to get back in like title. Uh, like have a title and then say, you know, I want my tank shot well, he again. He came off a good win, so uh, he's, but he's feeling pretty good. He's moved up so much that he probably yeah. never get a tank shot now at this point. But yo, we got some super chats I want to get to real quick. Ken Stone with a super chat. Thank you for your super chat. Says Ryan. Haiti, what up? Ryan's fight would have been better had Jim Lampley, Roy Jones Jr., and Paulie been on that call. The Zones crew has got to go. Mannix <laughs> was a joke. Ah oh, man, I wish yo don't super chat this. Just tell me what did he do wrong. What do you think? I hear so many people saying like the zone oh. was horrible. The zone, I, like what? what to did me, they it was do okay. Wrong? To, to, to me, it was okay. I just don't like their. Um, to be honest, I don't really like their UK correspondence. Like so, Gary like Davis like and uh, <laughs> and Ricky and Ricky Hatton. Like, Ricky Ricky is good, but Ricky is not really for TV, right? So he's gonna give you like. Uh, good analysis but it's not it's not natural in the camera and gareth a davis is a bit eccentric as well like uh, uh I, I kind of find like the uh the manix and uh sergio mora relationship quite funny but i think those two is gonna they're gonna fight one day yeah <laughs> you know? yo i actually find they commentating funny because they always taking shots yo i was watching i think the weigh-in and yeah. uh, uh ty grisham i met, i think his name is ty he asks his yeah. uh Sergio uh, Mora question, he just walked off, bro. He yeah. walked off. Like he <laughs> I thought he was gonna come back joking. He was like, Well, he's left me here alone. And like they just gotta they improvise a lot, and I don't mind it. I don't. I actually, you know, it's funny we even talking about commentators in the zone. I appreciated them so much that I messaged both Ak and Barack to congratulate. I just can't believe how big they've gotten. It's two years later, and these dudes are like huge yeah. right now they're all over they, tv they, all over they're the doing their fights. things we, we're gonna get used to them it's like everything when it's new right yeah. when you just like it, it takes time to get used to them i'm pretty sure like in like i don't know five years time they're gonna be like normal standard commentating crew right so Bro, and it's the access that they're gaining like i sat back this morning you know i, I wake up very early and, and and i was just thinking i'm like damn think about it not every reporter coppinger Mannix, Rayfield, and Steve Kim. None of those four guys can do what Akin Barak can do. Akin Barak can get Charlo. Where those four guys, one of those guys may not be able to get Charlos. Mm. Akin Barak could get Bud. One of those four guys, definitely Coppinger can't get Bud. 
You know what I mean? I can Barack can get everybody. Canelo, AJ, they get wilder. These dudes fucking get everybody. They're like Brian Custer. They can, they can yeah. relate. They, they can so relate. Funny. You know what's so funny? Coming from like other sports, me watching basketball. I know Chris Maddox from basketball. He was a writer for, for ESPN. Um, for um, Sports for, Illustrated. For Sports Illustrated for a while. So when he used to talk boxing on on, on the Dan Dan Patrick podcast, I used to laugh at his. Look at the Chris Maddox. To see him where he is right now is hilarious. I ain't going to lie to you. He's been always talking his little boxing, but it was always basketball. When DeZone hired him, I started dying because I know Chris from from back in the day this is hilarious man to see him where he's right now it shows you man that hard work and opportunity will work yo yeah. super chat go ahead no i, I was oh. just gonna say like especially with hack and uh, hack and barack it feels to me like you know athletes react better to that new age of like media right people that they can relate to they don't they, they're not like cookie cutter type of media person like so uh, the charlos all the athletes can have like a normal conversation with these guys without thinking, oh, I'm talking to Jim Lampley or, you know, those type of guys that are so media trained and stuff like that. So I think, like, that's where the access comes from and the kind of, like, natural, organic conversation that you get with those guys. And that's the way we're going towards that wave, and, and that's cool, man. I like that. And if well you, put, Mitty, well put. About, Reason? If you think about December, like, a lot of our daily morning topics were based off the Sirius XM uh the zone podcast you know what i mean like the Agen barack show that a lot of those quotes uh from eddie they get at that's another guy they get unlimited access to and and i know it's, it's some people say well oh yeah well the, they're with the zone but that's the difference they mm -hmm. also get a plethora of pbc fighters and mm -hmm. bud crawford you know what i mean so there's certain reporters that can't get every single network and these guys have found a way to fucking do that and uh congrats Yo. we got a super oh go ahead yeah yeah i got it yeah, you gonna say something maybe before i go uh, uh, just, just a quick one like i don't know if you get caught like uh kate abdo uh <laughs> she she made like a a funny thing like with uh, ryan's dad right I, she, I think she wanted to say something like you know ryan's dad got good genes and when she says something completely different that, that was quite funny it went a bit viral in our back chats man what, what so, did she I, say what did she say but I, I i don't know if you can't you can't <laughs> bring it bit, up and not say it uh, she, she she said like oh you know you, you have like you know, uh, she said something like you have two kids and like, good looks and all that and she, she said like you, you've got some good sperm instead of like you've got some oh. good gene right so, oh she used the word sperm <laughs> that was hilarious man she, yeah i'm oh, telling shit. you i think she wanted to say gin and stuff like that but she Wrong waited it to, 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 to the liquid of life man she said you got some good sperm man <laughs> Yo, say no great with a super chat. <laughs> he said, Tank, Hagler, Devin, Ray, Tio, Duran, Ryan, Hurl, Hearns, Tall, Chinny. Oh, you know, Hearns did get dropped a lot. And wasn't he knocked out one time? I, I feel like I seen a clip of him going straight down like a tree backwards, no? Like a tree backwards. Because <laughs> you know he was tall as hell. You know he was super tall. Yeah, we got, some, we got some super chats. Let me just get through them real quick, man. We got Henry Brown that says, still looking to beat Ness on burpees. Davis. What? Still? Oh, still looking to beat Ness on burpees. Davis beats Lopez and Garcia KOs Loma. Then Stevenson beats everyone to be undisputed. Henry, I ain't doing no burpee challenge, but I'm going to tell you. Uh, I'm, I'm training out that new gym, and they do a lot of burpees over there. I'm like, what the hell? Chad the Real says, yeah, we'll, 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 I'm asking you about that. They encourage Ryan to duck Haney for one. Nah, nah. Well, you miss LV Slugger. No, he's before. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, so Giant Henry before. got another one after that. After, okay, yeah, so Jada the Real, Jada the Real. They encourage yeah, Ryan, Ryan to duck, duck Haney, Haney for, one. for one. one. Yeah. yeah, for the one, Tank Davis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the big fight. Yeah, yeah. The, the only dude in that division that's doing a pay-per-view. Yeah, yeah. So uh, LV Slugger says, Leonard and Hearns first fought before they was 26. Hashtag facts. Yeah, but Tevin, Devin is, is, is like 22. T.O. is like, tw all of those dudes are super young. Y'all got to pump the yeah. brakes. They all They've young. They've got over three, four years of calling them duckers until they get 26, man. So. Yeah, man. <laughs> nah, <laughs> man. They got to they gotta fall back. These guys still have time. And, and I think Tank might be the oldest, right? He's like 24. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's the oldest, yeah. Bro, yeah. This, but these in, guys the, are in the super he's a young in the super four, <laughs> I think like um Hearns was the, the youngest, like born in nineteen fifty eight. Like then you have like Sugar Ray fifty six, then the other two were like, you know, fifty one, fifty four. Like so Yo, Penny, yeah, another one that says bet Ness on burpees and pull ups. Let's go, champ. Tia Fima will lose to Davis and Garcia. Sorry, Tia Fima will lose to Davis and Garcia versus Haney is a toss up. I go with Haney, then Shakur beats all. Yo, you know, you, you, he you, you, wants you, to you, 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 pull up he, some burpees. But bad. he's been training for like. Two years when I was running around here calling everybody out, even fighters. I got videotapes doing more pull ups than fighters. He ain't want no smoke. He got two years training. I've been stopped doing pull ups. I'm telling you, the other day I went to the gym with Doomy. I needed to pull up a sis machine. I didn't even know. I was laughing at him because he was using it, and then I seen I needed it. So I'm not ready. I'm not ready, man. All right, Ken Stone with another one that says The Zone likes to talk about future fights instead of calling the one. That happens right in front of their eyes. <laughs> Yo, but that's how you keep the viewer engaged and coming back. It's like, oh, yeah, that guy's supposed to fight that guy. That's what they were saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's crazy, man. But yeah, that's how the people feel, man. They feel like um, um, Ryan Garcia is, you know what I'm saying, looking past Javante Davis. I'm sorry, looking past Devin Haney, my apologies, who is literally... Um, contractually is right in front of him being this mandatory and he's overlooking him to fight Javante but you got to keep the name buzzing you got to keep the clock going and that's what you do yo <laughs> Ken Stone with the super chat now now I know you lying he said Ness is a better blow by blow guy than Brian Kenny or Todd Grisham Morrow and Jim are the only dudes who seem like they are actively Watching a fight. I, I I don't think I'm that good because I definitely go seconds uh, at a time without saying anything. The fight has to be good. To to keep talking about the actual fight, it's got to be good. Yesterday, the job was easy. It was back and forth. Uh, whenever it was back and forth. You know, anyway, let's get into that, man. I mean, ha did anyone <laughs> notice Ryan looking like Canelo? I went back and watched it again like... He was using a high guard like Canelo, trying to check off the high guard like Canelo, walking his man down without a jab like Canelo. But he ain't play. Canelo. His foot is like his... Mitty, I was saying that during the live. You wasn't here, so obviously you're the only coach here today. I need to ask, man. Because Doomy said maybe it was by design, but I felt like it was recklessness. He wasn't paying attention to his left foot being on the outside of the south paul's foot instead he literally would place his foot on the inside stepping on uh his opponent's foot at times uh tripping over his opponent's leg at times and also having his face lined up with his opponent's left hand because of where his uh, foot was at it, it it wasn't by design but like there, there was like a uh a good battle of the front foot but if i'm honest I think Ryan did well with like placing his feet correctly. Like you know, uh, Campbell Campbell is tricky and oh, you know it's difficult. You want to have your foot on the outside, and you're not always going to win that battle like hundred percent of the round. But I thought like Ryan did really well, not being thrown off by all the fans, and did really well with like his front foot pressure, and did really well to position his foot. Like it, it was hard. He had to take like a while to adapt three rounds i want to say to adapt but uh, from round three onwards his feet were always like you know on the outside he was finding like success with his uh with his back end uh kind of like um, abandoned the left hook because he, he he saw that the left hook was hard to land to the head like you know and um and yeah man i thought he did well but to you the point that you made earlier strategy was very similar to what canelo did against Smith. it was definitely a deliberate strategy for both of them to walk back the opponents walk back the opponent and apply that front foot pressure like and that was good to be how honest about, i think how about the that hard punch Yo, how about me, that patented canelo left hook to the body man and let me add to that yeah. let me add yeah. to that let me add to that midi and, and and i mean don't take any offense but do you think like Canelo's telling him, like, yo, I've already fought three dudes from the UK. Take it to the body on him. 
Like, go no, to the body. I, I don't think that that's the case. Like, I mean, the, the body is always a good strategy whenever you, foot, you fight anyone, right? <laughs> whether it's from the UK, China, whatever, right? Like, if you, if you think you're going to go into a, a long fight, investment to the body is always good. And also, you also want to mix. Side question, Mitty. Same topic, huh? same topic, side question, right? Like, yeah. in Border Wars, no one has a Canelo or, 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 or a Campbell body. Can you land a body shot in Border Wars on a guy like, uh, frick, I don't know, Supermax and get a body shot knockout? You, you can. You, you, you can get a body shot knockout. Like The, the body shots that you're going to land in Border Wars are very different. They're not like investment for the later round. They're body shots that, that will just take your wind out and stop you. And you can land that, but you're not kind of investing for, for the long term. You're just really trying to find the sweet spot. It's going to be hard. A guy like Supermax, I feel it's going to be difficult to land on him and have success because there's a lot of like cushioning there. Like, But like on... Uh, um, well, the that's exactly guy. that's exactly what I'm getting at. Like for for unfit people, is it even worth going to their Sup body? I mean, like yeah, it, it is worth because you don't know how they're going to react, especially if you hit like the sweet spot, like you know, as they breathe in in the, the sternum, like, you, right you're gonna the get some, you, you're gonna get some some success. I don't know so much about liver shots on like you know people with like big mass around like the uh, uh, the belly. It's gonna be it's gonna be harder, I think. Like you know, it's kind of rare. I say you know. I love it, it Boston. It, Jerry, I'm a, I'm a, go ahead. I'm I'm gonna slide in there real quick. Boston Jerry with a super chat that says Leonard KO'd Benitez at 23. Who should be on the list instead of Duran? I'm not sure if I'm saying that name correctly, but, but I think But Leonard is. is on the list. Leonard and Duran are on the list. And, and no, Hearns. they said Benitez should be on instead of Duran. Oh. I'm not sure. Yeah. But, no, like, they, they were not. They, 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 yeah, but he, he's Benitez. But he wasn't He wasn't part of the Super 4. Like, maybe that, that was an argument back in the days at the time. And Benitez is a, uh, is a good fighter, but... They, Technically, I, I mean, he's not the Super 4. When you talk about, a, you know, <laughs> the Super 4, you're talking about Hagler, Hearns, Duran, and Sugar Ray, right? So. Yeah, I love it, man. Yo, while we at it right now, I'm going to just take a quick second, man. Public service announcement. Public service announcement. You already know what it is that time of the day. We got over 250 watching and listening from around the world. You know what I'm saying? We're rocking out with you. We're talking Ryan Garcia, Javante Davis, Devin Haney. Teofimo Lopez, do they resemble the Fab Four of Tommy Hitman, Hitman Hearns, Marvin, the Marvis Hagler, Sugar Ray Leonard, and the man Hands of Stone, Robert Duran. Go ahead, man, and hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does help with the visibility and the growth of the show, and we appreciate you for sure. Let's keep going. While we had it, Rodden807 had a super chat that says, Ryan Garcia equals Amir Khan 2.0, dot, dot, <laughs> fast hands, glass chin. I don't know about Yo, a lot chin, of people man. are saying that. I think that's so unfair. Cause, it is. Because other, like, I don't even know if I was about to say Maidana fight, but that's not even true. He knocked Maidana down in the second round. So there, there's it no is. fight where Khan got dropped and came Canelo. back. Canelo. Yeah, but no. Oh, he, he came back. Came yeah. back to look this dominant. Like, yeah. I think it's an unfair comparison to Ryan, man. Like, and first yeah. of all, Khans was knocked out by British Prescott, then knocked out again by Danny. Yeah. Like, at least let that happen before you start calling him 2.0. At least yeah. say 0.5. <laughs> like, maybe he gets to be... 0.1 or something. You know? <laughs> nah, hey, but hey, it, it is a very unfair comparison. It, he, if you want to say that he has uh, a defense that can be exploited, definitely... We've seen that, and you know that th that is fair. Uh, but I don't think he has a suspect chin because he went down. Going down, like you can go down off balance or whatever. He didn't go down because it was off balance. He went down because it was a good shot. But the chin looked good to me because like the legs were strong after, and also he, he wasn't really too phased, right? He obviously took like his minutes or so just to. To yeah, regroup and all that, and it's normal, right? But the way he reacted, like, his chin was good, temperament was good, 
I, I was impressed. I was impressed by his strength also. And know? that's what I'm going to say because a lot on Twitter, you know what I'm saying? I was reading Twitter. A lot of people, pretty much a lot of fighters and, and former fighters and stuff were saying that, you know, uh, Ryan Garcia, you know what I'm saying, baptized through fire, man. He came through flying colors, you know what I'm saying? He went down on his behind yes. and he got up and he and he knocked the dude out. So what, he, you, calling you, him Mir Khan is kind of like, you know what I'm saying? That's the... He, 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 they would say that he's gone through fire more than anybody else. Go ahead, Ness. No, I was going to say, it don't matter what they say, man. The big fish, Earl Spence, said that he responded well. And I'm sure Ryan appreciates uh, Earl Spence, the unified welterweight big fish champion. Uh, you know, his words more than all these haters. Like, listen, when you get knocked down and you get back up and you beat someone by stoppage... Oh. Then you listen, have the right to talk. Le, 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 listen, not just that, right? Ryan, in his head, a lot of things could have happened. Dude came to the ring on like a crown thing, Tyson Fury style. When I saw that, I reacted a little bit like, you know, everyone else in the boxing community and say, whoa, you better do something. You better do something after you're doing this, right? And when it went down in that second round, I said, whoa, all ah. that is going to unravel. All this is going to unravel pressure is going to start believing the doubters like you that's when you start listening to the the people that hate on you You say oh they said i'm a hype job now i'm on the floor am i already a hype job and you start doing like crazy stuff but he didn't he just came back like a g and that, that's what i respect you know that the mental fortitude the temperament and like the, the fighting spirit like that was good man um yeah let me get this you got i to like say? i i actually like i don't know if it was i felt like it was a double meaning uh with his ring walk right so uh when he came out he came out with like the julia julia julius julius caesar wreath not necessarily yeah. a crown like like prince yeah. you know yeah. maybe like um the crowning the performance then he wore the crown uh and obviously his name has always been king ryan but uh but it was really his coming out party um I want to interject this and and, and see can we, we 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 I don't know have some fun with this Hold quote. Up. Before you change it, let me get these super no, chats no, out of the way. I'm not we gonna get change going. it. Huh? Yeah. No, no, go ahead. Okay, cool. Uh, let me just get these ones. Gunner Forever says Tank is the new AB. Ryan KOs him in three rounds. Um, okay. the other super chat is coming back from Show Kid says I don't know how old you are, Midi, but you must. Have not watched a boxing in the 80s these fighters don't compare benitez was great your hey, response I, i'm 37 i was born in the 80s i was born in 83 and uh you don't have to be young or old man we have footage man it doesn't matter i didn't see them live but trust me i went back to watch those guys and don't tell me i'm just saying benitez is a great fighter but the fact is he was not the guy in the in the uh, in yeah. the four. Yeah. This is you know those are the four that were out there, man. Like so, that that was just a respond to to that uh, super chat. That's all. Love it. Rod in eight seven zero says fair comparison. Luke let him off the hook one hundred. Ken and Haiti back with another one says yeah. Ryan loves Southpaws. Laugh out loud. Loma and Tank beat Ryan. That's what he's saying, because they. Uh, that, that, yeah, that, that, but Ryan said it himself. I think Ryan said it like he, he loves fighting southpaws. Uh, so I guess that's what he's saying. Laugh out loud, like feed him the Lomas, and you know. Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't mind a Loma fight, especially since Loma picked the, picked against him, and Loma said he got the better of him in sparring, trying to sabotage his coming out party right before the fight. Um, but looks like we got another super chat from Rod in A7. Ayo, uh, this says Tank, Devin Haney, Tio. All will stop him. Easy 100 target. All right. Now I'm assuming that's Ryan Garcia he's talking of. Mm -hmm. I hear some people in the chat. I got to do it. I hear some people in the chat talking about this twice that Luke Campbell has quit. Y'all better cut, cut that out, man. Cut that out, man. Cut that out. Let, let's see somebody hit you with a body shot on your exit and see how you take it. He got knocked down against Lomachenko and Lenaris and went 12, man. Yeah, Puss nobody did this, man. They got, they got to definitely respect uh, Ryan, man. He he did what those two men could not do. You think they didn't want to stop Luke Campbell? They didn't want to look great? No, no, no. First of all, 
it's a perfect segue for this, right? And I quote, he's very heavy handed. Even when I was blocking the shots, I could feel them. That was the hardest shot I was ever hit with. I tried and tried to get up, but I couldn't. I felt him coming on and I was moving back. And when you move back, my body relaxed a little bit. And that's the exact time he hit me. So, you know, that's the fighter, man. You know, that's the fight of the... You know. And Ryan came out and said the same thing, too, that Luke don't really give compliments, but he did say that he, he hits really hard and um, uh, he felt his pressure coming forward. And that's 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 good for a young fighter who, again, was knocked down. You know, some some would say heavy, right? Because his arms are folding underneath him on the, on the canvas and he's able to regain himself, Yo. get up, and hit dude with a shot like that. I mean, with all respect to Luke Campbell for, you know what I'm saying, telling the young, the young lion just how... How great he is, man. How how his skill sets are. I love that, man. I love it. Yo, that, that shit was actually frustrating to me, for real. Like, I don't want to ever go through it, but I feel like I want to go through it to know can I do it, right? Like, everybody's shot is different. So I feel like maybe if if he was on the floor, and even Maidana was on the floor. Khan hit Maidana with the best shot in boxing. Maidana was on the floor rolling around like I used to be when my brother punched me in the stomach, being my older brother, you know? That's when you know all the air is gone. You just like, and you can't even talk. You're like, Ma, you trying to call for mom. Ain't shit coming out because the air left. Left. It's not, Campbell, just, it's not just about the air. It's Campbell was about... different though. He was he was he was halfway there. He was literally in fours. All he had to do was get up. He literally got uh, up one second you after. Can't. You, you can't like let me tell you the, the right. body shot, it's his bad. body shot, the, the liver shot is not about air. Like air doesn't go really out. Like you just like kind of like your body goes into spasm. Like mm. you just like a nervous reaction, right? You just creep up and you can't actually just unfold. Like you can't just like, you know, open up. Like it, it's not like the, the sternum shot is about the air. It goes there and then air is gone. You can't do anything. But a liver shot is very, very different. And yeah, they, they're all different. But that Maidana was a G. When Maidana came back up from his shot, like all crippled and like uh, almost in spasm. And he came back, I was like, whoa, that dude is a G, man. Bro, you know? he was rolling around. You know, man, I think it was McCloskey, McCloskey, uh, Paul McCloskey, that got hit with a, a, I think, uh, was it, was it, it was a chop chop that hit him or, or, or maybe a mirror when a mirror fall. I don't know, somebody hit, he, he rolled around the same way. Hey, yo, can yeah. I ask you a question real quick? Yo, Alex, what up? I just got to give you what up for you sneaking in the back there. Yo, I ain't even see him, let me man. ask you a question real quick. When you take a body shot on an exhale, you take a body shot to the liver. Which one is, gives you the delayed reaction? Both of them or one? Ask Doomy, man. I don't get hit. The liver will give you the, the delayed reaction. On okay. the exhale, if you get it like straight there, okay. you, you, you'll find it. You'll just go straight away. You'll know, right? So Yeah, You ever took one, Mitty? You ever took yeah. a good one to the body? Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> I took right. a good one. Last time I took a good one was uh, in second grade. Damn, that one aired man. me out. My man Rocky, rest in peace, man. He hit me with a body oh. shot, man. I ran down the little recess, little. They used to close off the streets. I ran away from that kid, man. Body shot scare uh, you, but I never, I never been hit to the body uh, 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 in in fighting and, and, and been put down. Bro, hey, last year, man. Last Shadeza. year, inspiring, man. Like you know, yeah. Well, I've been nice. touched. I, I've been touched in the chin. Flash, little flash, little, little boop, <laughs> like whoa! <laughs> but I never yeah. took a body shot in a long time. Like, Hold on, I'm going down. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, nah, a guy caught me with a check hook, man. He was a heavyweight guy, man, and uh, and uh, I thought, you know, I was, you know, playing around, doing my thing, and uh, he was, he was big and bulky. I thought he wasn't as fast as he, as he obviously was, and I stepped right into a check hook, man, and I, I literally Ooh, lost UFC my front guy? leg. Nah, not the UFC guy, man. That guy ain't do nothing to me. It was a uh, um the dude from a uh, Hawks gym, uh, heavyweight. Remember, uh, he 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 won the heavyweight tournament. And the oh, amateurs. Oh, the young guy. I mean, the Spanish the, with guy. The, dude with the ball head. Yeah, the Spanish guy. Right? Yo, show kid, come back with a super chat that says, "I respect your boxing knowledge, Mitty. Just want the youngins to know the greats used to fight the other greats. I miss yeah, matchups." 
No, that, that's true. Like Yo, back in the day, how this show a bit kid less out quality. here, man? How this show kid trying to act like he's so old? Don't let me. We can't approve your fight with Mario if you that old, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, uh, but there, there was a bit less politics. And politics always existed, but you know there was more of a thirst to have like the, the bigger fights. Le- less you know, promoters, bigger. less. Yo, networks. shout out to JB Cinema. He said I was I was dropped with a vicious body shot, and I thought I was going to die. Yo. <laughs> Yeah, man. Bruh, listen like, to me. Well, just nasty, man. Listen to me, man. I don't watch other sports because my brother loved every other sports. I, I know what body <laughs> shots feel like because I would fight for that TV, bruh. Like, and, and, and it would always end not well for me. It would always end in a body <laughs> shot. Like, boom. Because it's true. It just, it, it's just it, it stops you from moving, man. It's crazy. Such a vicious shot. Yeah, but um, do me. We were talking uh, ESPN and the fact that they believe that the uh, this new crop of fighters resemble the Fabulous Four. You see any comparisons? Have were you listening in the back end? And I don't, any, anything you want to add to that? No, I wasn't able to listen. I mean, uh, you know, I was uh, uh, just taking care of some important stuff. But um, I I, uh, I can see a comparison, man. Um, just off the bat, we got you know a few you know young fighters that potentially can be great i mean i could i could start naming them off the bat shakur stevenson brian garcia just now you got uh shakur stevenson you got virgil ortiz you just and i can go on and on that there's just a stable of young fighters right now that i i have uh that i'm excited about the future you know in the next five years of boxing we're going to see a lot of good fights and uh the development of maybe some some of the greatest careers in boxing man there's a lot of good talent and there's more eyes on the sport than ever now and ever since it's had these crossover things going on these uh what i like to call spectacle fights but now i'm just calling it money fights right you know it's bringing the attention and regardless of what we may think you know as hardcore it's, it's done uh good for the sport so you know that that's a uh, um so that's that's fabulous. Yeah, that's but, fabulous. But, but, <laughs> you, the picture matchup that well, they have. Hold on. Well, you I was, I was being more specific to like, uh, do you see any of these four lightweights? Ryan, uh, Javanta. Oh, they literally compared them fighter to fighter. Uh, I don't know if that's what they tried, but, like, but that's what yeah, we that's, think. That's maybe, what we're, you know. we're assuming. Did you see it? Do you need to see N- it? No, no, I didn't see it. Sorry, guys. I mean, I, I thought. I thought it was just, just uh, you know, uh, well, it's on the time. thumbnail. It's on the thumbnail. Yeah. Well, let's know. get to for you. Showkid is forty-one, by the way. Now he said he'll be forty-one. Okay, oh, okay, it's okay. So we're not too far. But listen, like, hey, one forty-seven. That's where those guys would be at. Like most of those guys would be. At. I don't know about Tank, uh, but in the, you know they will end up there. Like I can tell you, Ryan with his frame, Devin with his frame. Maybe not Teal, but like Teal is like kind of muscular and all that. But 147 could be really, really exciting in like three years' time, you know, three, four years' time, you know. Do you see it yet, Doomy? It just came on for me now. Um, I see Ryan Garcia with Sugar Ray Levin. Woo! That's smooth right there, man. Hey, that's big shoes to fill in. I'm going to tell you guys right now. I didn't even hear your take on it, man. Francis Mitty, man. I wish I would have been on, man. Uh, this is dope. I like this. Give us yours and we'll give you our recap real quick. Look, like, okay. I'm just going to read them. Right? Let, me, let, me just, let me just get a take on it. Gervonta with Roberto Duran. All right, cool. Teofimo Lopez with, 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 who's that? Hearns? Tommy Hearns? Okay. Yeah. And then you got Devin Haney with Marvin. Is that Marvin? That's marvelous. Yeah, that's, okay, I see that's the that's names that. now. I see the names now. All right. Uh, I don't know if Devin Haney can be compared to Marvin Hagler. Totally different styles. Marvin Hagler was a motro on your so, ass so all you day. How did three with uh, Marvin? Out of the four. So I, I would match Marvin with Gervonta all day. Uh, if we're talking about smooth, super smooth, we're going with Devin Haney with Sugar Ray. Uh, if we're talking about, you know, uh, uh, Tall, lengthy, using some of that height. I'll go Ryan Garcia, Tommy Hearns, and I'll go Teofimo, Roberto Duran. All right, so I, I'll go first. I had um, I had uh, Devin Sugar Ray. Um, I had um Robert du- Duran as um, um Teofimo, Ryan, Tommy, and um, what's his name there? Uh, Javante as Marvin Hagler. That's right. No, nah, that's that's see, I, it was Mitty, almost the same thing, right? Same thing. Same thing. I think it was. Uh, me? What do you think no. Yeah, real quick. Recap, uh, real quick. Oh, Next. very quick. Uh, David Henney, uh, the Sugar Ray, 
I think I had uh, Tank as uh, Hagler and Tio as Duran and Ryan as uh, Hitman Hub. Alright. Yeah, yeah I, nah, I, those, I, those are fair. I like those middies. Are fair. I like, I like, I like middies because someone super chatted and they was like, yo, uh, Ryan is chinny like Tommy. Yeah, and Tommy Tom. Hurt. <laughs> Damn, he, he no, said earlier, he, it's not it's not fair to call him Chinny and uh, swap the boxing mini. You see how quick how hey. quick your, your chin ain't no good in boxing. No, hey, but Ness is good, man. He does that in the space of ten minutes, man. People usually Ooh. wait a fight or two. Man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <We're> not quick. <laughs> Why don't you just hit the alarm skip for the man, the Rugaru? Welcome to the prospect level, new member. Chin the Rugaru. Yeah, you already know the boogeyman from the body. <laughs> Shout out to the burger Yeah, nah, Mitty Champ. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> he but had yeah, a good like... chin. He got a good chin, man. He got up and he brought it to, to Cool Hand. So, you know, he 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 showed me grit, man. I, I said it this morning on the uh uh you know, wake and and bake, so to speak, with the TBV, man, we already knew what it was, man. Like, we needed to see what he was made of. And um, I think, Mitty, man, you said, I think, on that show, too, or I don't know if you said it on the chat, but I feel like I heard it from you, right? Uh, you know, you said that that's what you saw. You know, that's what he showed you, that he had heart. You know, and yeah, uh, yeah, how, important, how important is that, you know, to especially just to, to an investment company as a promotional company, you know what I'm saying? To, to see that in their investment. Super important, man, because you know that, you know, you know when adversity hits because that will always happen in like you know one of the the fights with another good fighter you need to know that the guy is not going to fold right like you invested a lot of money in it and you know if he folded under pressure or if he you know kind of like didn't give you anything after that then that's when you kind of just like start to think man you know invested all this in that guy i want to see a little bit more and all that Uh, but he showed man he showed like he's a dog man and I like also, he was calm, like, not as calm as, you know, you would want to be in the ideal finished products. I think he had, like, you know, a round or two where he was a little bit erratic, but it was good. I think his attitude was good. His temperament was good. And he showed me, he showed me he can mix it. He can mix it at the at the top level, man. I think uh, I think these guys have such a, 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 a misunderstanding of what is going on with this picture. Um this isn't about Ryan beating, beating them or whatever. Yeah, yeah it's not what about it. Ryan beating any of the four or Tank beating any of the four. It's think of it more as reincarnation. Who mm-hmm. has come back as them? Who was closest yeah. to them? If this was the fabulous four, jeez Louise. Yeah. Yeah. Coach Myers with a super chat, right? Real quick, maybe that I definitely would have Shakur as Leonard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shakur is Leonard. Yeah, Shakur, 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 was Shakur will come. Yeah. Shakur will come in the mix, though. That, yeah, that's the he thing. Will. Like, he will. It, it, it's not just those four guys. Like you know, between one thirty and one forty, you've got exciting fighters, man. Like crazy. Yeah, Colbert is there too. You know, yeah. live dog. A lot of live dogs in that division. Uh, the, the, the issue is that that Shakur, Tank, and Colbert haven't done enough at one thirty five or anything at 135 rather tank on the other hand yes he had a fight at 135 and uh it wasn't the best but i think people because of his power are just ranking him at 135 plus he's got yeah plus he's got sparring uh wars with all these guys too like you know it's it's old news him and him and devin and to and ryan have sparred so and and the fact that people question his ability to make weight, right? So automatically, you know, it puts him in that 135 category, right? Although he did he did it well, like he made 130 easy last time. So yeah, man. Stuff. Cheesy Harrison with a super chat says y'all might as well put Jake Paul up there, shaking my effing head. Oh yeah, Jake Yo. Paul. He's a good fighter, man. That's so Yo, funny. Jake Paul got two KOs. Shit. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> Jake Paul about to get a freaking uh, his brother getting a Floyd fight. He should be up there, man. He connected, bro. But yo, what I'm most excited about, honestly, out of the whole fight, I know Ryan got dropped and he got back up, showed his medal. You know what I'm saying? But what I was most excited about is, and I was saying that to Ness. Remember when I asked you, Ness? I said if he's in the camp, Mitty and Alex, if he's in the camp with Team Canelo and Canelo, 
if he does just a quarter of what they are taught Canelo, he'll be fine. And we've seen that patented left hook to the body. Golly, execution is a beautiful thing. Let me ask you, um, yeah. and this is what I keep telling y'all about boxing, and I love boxing being this way. I love, I love that it is. Yo, Loma's not even on the list. No one's super chatting saying, yo, why isn't Loma there? He's Who's better that? than Ryan. Loma's hey, better than well, this guy. Happened? Loma, Lo Tank was ducking Loma. He's forgotten. One fight, That's true. one no, fight, no. one fight, and you will be Thanos. We will snap the hey, fingers no, but, and forget about your ass. So you but, better but they, make they sure that that fight is oh, memorable. Man. The people he, he lost, like he, that. He lost, to, he lost to Lopez, right? So Lopez took his, his spot there. That, that's the that's the reason why. Yeah, but o those guys had losses, Mitty. Fabulous Four had no, losses. They, they, they have losses, but I, you know, like to each other right so you want to put like loma in exactly there, right? loma's there he lost to teal yeah. ah. so you're saying that ryan shouldn't be there because i'm saying no one's made the argument for loma that's and that's what that's what boxing is and that's what i love that if you don't make a a loud enough statement we will forget your ass on monday monday <laughs> monday <laughs> Okay, you fought Saturday. It's true. We will hey, forget you on, on Monday. On, on Sunday, bro. <laughs> you, you know what the part of that is? The part of it is that with a huge fight like that, not having a rematch is why we forgot you. Coach Myers with a super chat says, do no, your no, no, thing. No, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. should have had a rematch close. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Francis, yeah, wait, 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 Francis, 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 wait, 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 because... <laughs> Alex, he didn't even let me come. No, 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 simply because you said... Because there's no rematch, that's why it's being forgotten. But doesn't that uh, start a new argument or debate about, you know, not too long ago, we were mad at rematches and we wanted this. We wanted you to be one and done. Let's just fight. Why are you locking me in? Let's just fight. Now the guy fights and the world is turning their back on Teal. Oh, man, you should give him a rematch, man. Oh, come on. Prove you could do it again. If you yeah. really could beat him, you could beat yeah. him again. Yo, it, it depends. It depends on the fight, man. It, it depends on the fight. Like for for example, a Campbell should not have like a rematch clause in there. But like a Loma versus Teo, you would have thought that they would have done a better I business. Kept, but it's their fault, man. Like you I know, you can't really baby, blame Teo. Porter versus Spence, Mitty. They had no yeah. rematch clause. Yo, real quick, real quick, real quick. Ryan Garcia highlights have officially crossed three million views on Instagram. I mean, on YouTube. They oh. will, man. They will. No, it's officially crossed three million yeah. on, on YouTube already. Damn. Yeah. It's only, I, and that, that was a it's good only one. been twenty four hours. That, that boy is Bro, stupid, let, man. Let, let, let's go back to <laughs> if if it went horribly wrong in that second round. If that second round that shot was like maybe not so much at the end of the punch, but a bit like more like meeting like a half solid, and, 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 and it went to sleep that boy would have had like nightmares today they would have become like a meme overnight and like oh, so that's what that, that's really, why i'm happy it, the way i think he's just, a like, meme reacted. regardless i think that that <laughs> that was a scary yeah. moment yeah. It, it was but it, the way he came back you can't put it felt in like movie. woody from right. toy story <laughs> no let me tell you people laughed at it right like as it happened as yeah. it happened people would clip it and they were on the instagram they would react to the knockdown because they assume yeah. He got yeah. knocked down. The fight is not gonna turn around yeah. for him. Like he would, it would be over. But he, he proved turned that, that around. Yeah, he, but he I, suffered I was, I was never comfortable with uh, with Luke. Like from from the first round, I mean, Luke was doing his thing. Was looking for opportunities. Was trying to make it a chess game and all that. That was good. But at no point he felt hundred percent comfortable. Even when he got that knocked down, it, usually he's not like an aggressive type of fighter anyway. Like, uh, and that's what I like about you know talking to Trey in the back call man trade just said it yeah luke is like a, a patient type of guy and that's true he only throws shots when they're perfect he should have maybe just like gambled a bit more but anyway he never really looked comfortable and that's credit to ryan and credit to ryan's power really to be honest listen i just want to add a little bit of spice and seasoning to this um i know ness and, and doomy and coach maybe they kind of echo the same sentiments in terms of fighters being warm when they come into the ring. That was one of the things that Ryan Garcia said, he caught me when I was cold. Mm. And I've asked trainers before, like what's their thought on fighters coming out to the ring warm um, with a sweat 
and, and so on and so forth. Um, did you did you guys say that one? That was one of the main things. What caught him no. so cold? No. Yeah, he did, he, so. did, he, he did say that. He it did it say was that. more. It was more like. It was more like he caught me flush. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, that, and, <laughs> And, and, I mean, and, I, and honestly yeah. speaking, I watched that shit today. His his neck jerked back. That and, I, shot and, I, and honestly speaking, was hard. yeah. And look, his neck was Pez head. And I'll be <laughs> honest with you, uh, when he got hit, you you were just saying, Coach, that you know, like if if he, if Cool Hands would have just had him a little closer, right? But I, I think it was a perfectly placed punch. It's just it that hard. Ryan got up. Yeah, Ryan got Ryan up. Got up. Yeah, but back. he was. But, hey, I don't think it was cold. I don't think it was cold. He, he, he wasn't out. cold. He, it was he, flush. He, he, he came out round one, like from the traps. He came out like with good activity. He came out like with the aggressivity, like from the, uh, from the beginning. It wasn't cold, but I, I mean, what do you expect him to say, man? Like you know, you have to say something in those interviews, and you know, it, yeah. it was a, it was a, it was but a good setup. Like hey, listen, the, <laughs> that works. This, the, the, yeah. the setup was nice, and I mean, yeah, like I, I don't think it was cold, and also I don't think that you know, the credit that we give to Reynoso and all this, and all of a sudden say, oh, like Reynoso doesn't like warm up his fighter proper and all that. No, you have to say that you know they did everything right and it didn't go in their cold, man. Like you know, it's it's awesome. just what he said. But yeah, the super chat. I want to get to Coach Myers super chat before you go. Hold that thought, Alex. Hold that hold thought. That, hold that. Do y'all think Shakur? Should move up to 135 now and get in the mix while the division is hot? Question mark or stay at 130 for a few more fights? Question mark. Your thought? Question mark. The, the only way to do that or to answer that properly is with the 135 pound rankings. See who's in the WBO and who could top rank make him popular with. But right now, who the hell is giving Shakur a shot? Who's going to pick up Bob's phone if he calls right now? Is Tiafimo Sr. going to say, yeah, I'll fight Shakur? I'll get my son to say, yeah. How about Tank? Is he going to say, yeah, 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 yeah. Floyd. Floyd is going to say, yeah, uh, let's do a co-promotion with, with, with Tank and Shakur. Who the fuck is going to say? Someone just tell me who's going to fight Shakur right, right now. I don't know who's running to fight Shakur right now, dude. <laughs> no, but it's not even about him being great. And they're afraid. It's about he hasn't done anything at 35 yeah. to be True. in this conversation. Yeah, It's this goddamn eye test, man. You guys got to get that shit. Tear in those eyes around what? and look at your ass, man. Fucking, <laughs> yo, like, <laughs> for real. Because it's like, bro. Uh, that's some soft ass shit. Yo, Shut that soft ass shit about, up. Oh, he should be there. Everybody's saying he should be there. He should be. Okay, so let's see him beat someone. Let's see him beat 135 pounds or two be there. Until he does that, why would those guys look back? They're all going to be like, yo, we're giving him an opportunity. If if mm -hmm. if Ryan fights him, he's giving up his mandatory position. Don't he got his eyes set on Beltran or, 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 or Lalacran? What's my man's yeah, name? Yeah, and that's at 130. Burchell and... and Burchell. And, and Burchell. Valdez. I was going to say Burchell. No, I mean, Her I mean he, he's getting Jamel Herring win the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and then he's gonna beat up on Bertrell. But yeah, shit off. Cheesy Harrison comes back with a super chat. Thank you for your support. That says COVID had Luke sucking air by the third Here round. It goes. Oh, so you think he ain't recovering? No. Here it goes. The hate has started. I don't, I don't think so. The yeah, hate has started. Man. The hate has started. <laughs> Yo. I, I don't think so. Like I, I think like, you know, they they're not I mean, he's not stupid, Luke, right? Like he, he would have like pushed the fight back, you know, to make sure that he's ready. And you know he's he's ready to perform, right? It's just like Ryan was too strong, like and punching hard, and you know you have to create Ryan for that, man. like not like COVID or anything else, man. Hey, Coach Myers, I know you put in the in the, in the chat. The question is, uh, was should he? And we answered that he should not. He should stay at one thirty and collect the bells there and, and then move up after because nobody's I mean, gonna give him a shot, right? Is that well, what you were saying well, right now? I, I'm looking at the rankings in the WBO. Uh, top rank has Cambroso. Lou DeBella has the number four, Emmanuel Tagago. The top rank also has Vasile, who's number two. So they got the one and two to the WBO, plus they got the champion. I guess if you really want Shakur to move up, he could fight those three guys. And definitely be in the mix. If he beats Vasil, he'll be in the mix. If he beats Tiafimo, he is the mix. So he could 
He could tell his people, I want to move up and, and get in the mix. He They got the names, I guess. And that's just three without really digging. They got Kome over there, too. I guess he can do it. He can put himself in the conversation if he fights Vasil, Kome, Tio. He's in it. He got, but but until he does that, he's not in it. He's not in it. He's not in it not just in it. yet. But he's he definitely gonna be him. moving up. I'll tell you that much. But any, you remember? any of those fights, they can do. They, that's their. That you know, those are their fighters. Yeah. They can do those fights. Yeah, let, let, let me change the the topic. But I, I never realized that you know Ryan doesn't speak Spanish. Like you know, so Reynoso was talking. And the dad was translating for him, like in the, in the corner. Like I, I don't know if you guys caught that because you were you were on the live fight chat. But to me, that that, that surprised me a little bit, man. You know, somebody yeah. actually mentioned that earlier today. It was about, like about you, man, speak. right, Ness? It's like you, right? And uh, uh, nah, Ness, Ness understand. I mean, he, you know, <laughs> oh, what you love, dude? You, know, like that? Come on, you expect Ryan to really break down what Eddie's saying so fast in the corner? Thirty, come on, man, you gonna need somebody to help you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, yeah, the, the dad was translating everything, everything, yeah, yeah. word for word. That that that's must moving fast. It's a fast movie. You can't. You don't have time to process. Oh, what you just say? Nah, tell me what he said now. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, it's true. That that minute goes by so fast too in that corner. And you're 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 at a million as a fighter. You're going, you know, your your senses are off the roof, and yeah. you 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 gotta get translated to what? Oh man, it must be crazy. Well, all, all he could understand was Bamos, Bamos campeon. Bamos that's, campeon. All, that, 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 that's all he understood, man. He said, "All right, I got you." Because he's American, man. Like you know, say he know English. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, I don't think that, yeah, and, and and I'm sure Eddie's used to talking to Canelo in, in Spanish in the corner, so it's more comfort. I'm pretty sure Eddie can speak English, Yo, but it's more comfortable. No, Eddie listen, don't speak listen, English. Listen, Eddie, listen. Eddie didn't speak English whatsoever, oh. man. I'm swear, sure, can... I'm sure Ryan understands him because uh, they have a lot of BTS footage, the zone, and 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 Canelo speaking English, and Canelo and Ryan hey, are speaking can... a lot. Canelo um, does, and Canelo spoke to him in English in the ring after the fight but i promise you he didn't speak a word of like english to him and the dad was literally relaying all the information for him. i hear you i hear you because because maybe they do that as a backup right like because it's a high profile moment but mm. you know Look at the way Ryan celebrated, and 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 you know I'm not trying to like you know there's no <laughs> there's no pun intended, but look at the way that he celebrated with with Reynoso. Like you you don't do that with a dude that uh, you need to. Let, let me that, tell you, like I you need celebrated. someone. I, I've you celebrated with like mad in uh, in Brazil when I was in Rio for the World Cup with strangers I don't know. We just sort of go popping. We all just jump in each but other. Not I like mad. that. I, I I don't speak no Portuguese, bro. But not <laughs> like was, that. I was all good with them, bro. Yo, but did you? Hey, what happened? I, I don't we, we, think. We I don't, let me let me show the you the clip. The moment was great. No, 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 no. What no, no, is wrong no. with this guy, man? Get him in. No, what? wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't think he's seen the clip, y'all. I don't think. <laughs> This man, that was I Mario did, hip I, thrust, I, man. Look, Mario was I, hip thrust, man, listen, like that. <laughs> I, I, I didn't jump like that on those people, but trust me, there was look some this, like <laughs> some this, mad celebration, man. With this, a, with this, a, this is not. This is this isn't the, the the celebration of a man that needs translation to communicate. Okay. This is the celebration. This is the celebration of a team that understands <laughs> themselves pretty clearly. They're a hundred percent. And let me tell you something else. This is his thing. He also does that to Canelo. He he created he straddles Canelo the same way. Did you see I Canelo push him off? Who? Sorry. Did you no, guys see when he jumped no. on Canelo? Canelo pushed his leg off? No, no, I don't I don't remember. Who? I didn't see that. Yeah, when he who? just got his when he jumped on Canelo before he jumped to no he jumped and put his he jumped and put his legs around and let my daughter would jump and put her legs around yeah, me. Absolutely yeah. not. Stop that, bro. Absolutely not. Nah, I didn't I didn't see him push him off. There's a hey. video on YouTube. He ain't push Can Canelo ain't push shit off. That's can they friends, man. Canelo loves this kid. If you yeah. if you watch the BTS footage of Canelo arriving, the way that Canelo lights up and smiles at Ryan for the first time walking in the backstage, like yo, 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 he's there, he's bro, in there. Like you, of course, bro. You you offer like a booster, and they friend. Like, I get that. Hey, but like. His dad seems like he wanted to save him from an awesome. Yo, what, what are you doing to my son, man? Yeah. That's your awesome. Suspect shit. 
Hell hey, yo, yeah. Just stop. Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Loma versus Garcia. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was getting was was so like some for a little moment, man. He said, What's going on here? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't understand what happened. I'm like, Yo. Why, before, why, is, why is he straddling them? But, but that's but, some soft ass shit. Shut that soft ass shit up. But all I'm saying is, no one straddles no one. Like, cause you need an interpreter. You need a tra if you really need a translator, you gotta. Midi, you remember when David Caldwell jumped on uh, um uh, um what's his name? Ah oh, man, he jumped on um. Value. Bellew, you, you see what happened? They didn't practice that before. He jumped on Bellew. You gotta hit him with the stiff arm, like, bro, get off of me. Ah, uh, man, bro, like, Bellew can just Ryan pick up them call well. Like, that celebration before, man. It looked like they was there. Bro, that, yo. Bro, Bellew can pick up call well with one hand. Yo, there's bro. a part of the video. You could pause it. You could Straight pause jokes, it at a man. moment. Look, you could pause this at a, at a specific second of the video yeah, where, uh, like, Say he say he'll do the Undertaker on him, like. <laughs> yeah. Yo, shift off Shizzy Harrison on the super chat. Tank said, "quote unquote," they effing Reynoso slash Garcia. <laughs> oh, hey, but that's Absolutely cool. not. That's what Absolutely Tank said not. on uh, on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> Tank said it on Twitter. He deleted he said, it. Know, he deleted it though. Send the effing. He yeah. deleted it. He deleted <laughs> it. He deleted bro, it. Bro, I'm, yeah. I'm sure it's been screenshot straight away by millions of people. I'm <laughs> just <laughs> be laughing at this though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He deleted but this time, Chizzy Harrison come back do the super chat before that. He said, "Long." <laughs> Yo, 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 you know what? Julio Cesar Chavez said that that was the 2020 TikTok of the year. They need to put that. Yo, Doomy, you need to put that beat to that clip I just played. Oh, bro. <laughs> Cruz will do that. Cruz is, is the man doing those things. Yo, I can't breathe. <laughs> yo, wait, wait. I got to play the clip again. You got to play the song again. Five. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Five, four, three, two. Play. Hey, do me messed up, bro. Nah, it's not on yet. <laughs> Fuck, do me what you waiting for, man. Stop, 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 stop. He's stop, trying stop, stop, stop. to sink it. He yeah, trying to sink it. I'm, I'm Yo, trying to sink man. it. No, but you, it can't, you, can't sit, you can't sink it with the screen because you don't see it. There's a delay on your screen. Yeah, there's so a delay you on sink your it, side. You sink it to. Oh, to I mess. sink it with you. Oh, oh my god, what did you, what you <laughs> thought the countdown was for? <laughs> I, I thought you were just. <laughs> This guy. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, Yo, listen. How I mean that's the only way that he would have held them up, man. He was about to fall. Wait, wait. Thank uh, God yeah. for Henry Hen <laughs> Thank God for Henry Garcia. He was there to catch the, the baby's head with the pillow, man. Listen, <laughs> uh where'd we leave off at Shakur with Coach Myers? We had Chizzy he said the COVID super chat, right? Yeah. Chizzy said Lomo versus Garcia. Would you guys favor Ryan? At this point, hell yeah. Loma don't like it to the body. Imagine Ryan Tom's the the right body shot. But look, I'm going to pick anybody power. over Loma, especially any natural 135 pounder. And Ryan, uh, Luke just told us how powerful. Hell yeah, I'm still, I'm picking, I'm picking Ryan confidently, even though we know Loma's better than Campbell and Loma will touch Ryan up more than Campbell because, you know, Ryan shows some flaws. But I think that he's going to grow from this fight. They're going to work. They're going to work. I'm telling you, after this, I'm with you. they're gonna I, work. I'm with you. The, the skills are with Loma, uh, but then we've seen what happened at 135 with like a, a big guy and someone who punches hard, right? So for six, seven rounds, he put his hand in his pocket until the power just like kind of decreases, right? So mm. and Ryan seems like he can go on for 12 like that. So I don't know. We haven't seen that, but. It did seem like it was strong. Yes, uh, yes. He looked fresh when he landed yeah. that body shot. He looked fresh. Yeah, he looked fresh, man. What's what's your take, Alex? You you rolling with Ryan? Just before I move on to the next super chat. Against who? Loma. Loma. Yeah. That's the question. Are you favoring Ryan? If oh man, nah, he's not. He's he's not there for Loma just yet, champ. Sorry. And and that's just honest. I loved what I saw. I agree with he, you. He proved, he proved many you. things. But frankly, um, there are some things that he needs to work on, and maybe maybe another stylistically get him another fight that'll prepare him. 
And uh, and maybe maybe who knows, man? Sky's the limit for him, man. He's the young athlete, so he got that as an advantage for real. Sure. Man, call you Trippy Red, but listen. Trippy he, Red. He's so small, <laughs> bro. Listen, listen. He started his career at 122. He's so small. Ryan is a natural 135 pounder, and let me finish, okay? He's mm -hmm. fucking 11 years, 12 years younger than Loma. Little old. Ass. As an next opponent, I'm I'm referring to as an next opponent. Me no. too. Oh, I, okay. I'm well, I'm that, looking that's... at it like this. Reynoso's gonna see the mistakes. They going straight to work. They going oh, okay. straight you to say, work. You say all right. I Canelo, see even Canelo was already telling them. They I'm telling you, there's right. so You're much right. footage. Yeah, let man. Me you, let me is tell you. Let me tell you. There's, is there's nobody so much has really footage put pressure out there. on him enough, uh, Ness. And Listen, for, for, this kid and, is you know, Loma, Loma's a pressure guy, so I just. Mm. Yo, Dougie, yeah, Loma don't like pressure, man. They and he gonna walk Loma little ass down like he walked big ass Campbell down. Loma a little boy, man. He looking to get, he will get. And listen, the the storyline is there. Loma try to come out fight week talking about, oh, liar, Ryan's a liar. I know him well. Oh yeah, he you says, heard about that. He he says that the sparring between he and I was a war. Was no war. He he packed up. <laughs> All right, so since you made me pack it up, let's get in the ring then. Let's get it in the ring, because T.O. ain't giving you no shot. I think he beats Loma. I think it's an easy fight. Not easy fight for him, but easier hey, but, because he's the smaller lightweight. That guy is the Loma. smallest lightweight on the list, man. Even Shakur calling for Loma right now. Shakur Loma want him right face, now. Man. Let, let him release them, man. Yeah, Bruh, yeah. Many, Yo, can you many, 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 many. You better than anybody. You are like semi-pro actor. Man, sparring is sparring. I could go to yeah, sparring, sparring tomorrow. Sparring for sure. I, I could go to sparring tomorrow and look bad and come back Tuesday and look better. A and, and especially if it's like two, three years ago. But yeah. like, hey, but, but he, it's still he probably for, sparred it's still a seventeen-year-old like, Ryan. Yeah. He sparred well, a seventeen-year-old Ryan, it, and he had a clout chasing Ryan name. Tell it, him it, fight it's Ryan. For, it's still good for for the storyline, man. Like just. Drop the tape, man. I, yeah, bet, you, casual, I bet you Loma casual, can right, drop him. With a super I bet chat. you, casual I bet you Loma can drop chat. him. Casual bass guy with a super chat that says, Comey versus Marinez. Gonna be tough. Comey versus Marinez. Yeah, that's not, is that, that's is that not, our Marinez? Our, yeah, our yeah, guy Jackson, that, Jackson. But that's not yeah, official yeah. yet. That's not official. That's still in play. That's not official yet. Yeah, Marine Marinas, man, he was man. That fight was just well deserved for Marinas. You know, yeah. he, he 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 he. I mean, it's a tough fight. It ain't like they get doing him any favors. They put him in with a puncher, another puncher, Roly puncher, now Kome puncher. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't do him no favors. Mm. Yo, you guys like the Alvarados on the undercard? Hey yo, one of them lost, man. I watched that fight, yeah. bro. Yeah, Renee. Yo, what's up? Yeah, I and saw Renee. This is what I'm saying. The now, where's Mario? The brother look good. Where's Mario? He's out here every every single morning. He's like, oh, but, the, but little guys, little guy. the little guys. And every time a little guy fights, he's not there for the fight chat, and he's not man? there for the <laughs> Sunday hey, show. Is, is Are you the hey, hey, Listen, Mary, Mariosky's. Oh, Rene, Rene is not that leader, man. He's a super featherweight, man. Rene, and that working. Was, was, hey, hey, was, wait a minute. Was Rene Ness, the did one? you catch the fight? Did you catch Rene? With Gutierrez? Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah, I watched yeah. that shit. Hell yeah. Bro, <laughs> let's talk about that. Which I mean, that, that first was an of all, entertaining first fight. Of all, I, you Rene know, would I, be in there with Leo, man. I want to talk about it. I just wish Mario was here to see if he, you know, unless you guys know more about that, those guys. Like, who the hell was Gutierrez? Venezuelan kid, man, is uh, uh, you know, he's he's he was undefeated, I think, and uh, really, yeah, no, and he, 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 did he fight Alvarado already? They they kept talking oh, yeah, about exactly. that. Exactly, like, this was La Revancha. It yeah. was, it was. Thank you, Mitty. It was. He had lost to him, and this was the rematch. And um, you know, his mom had just passed away, you know, and uh, he was, you know, dedicating this fight, you know, to 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 being able to, uh, you know, get the title. It was just, it was, it he was. He paced a himself, man. He he's a decent ass fighter, like, you know what but, I'm saying. He put it together. I just feel like I I didn't think he was gonna get it until he got that final knockdown. The last one, yeah. Because and he wasn't like the the scorecard he, tells you that he wasn't he gonna get it. He's an animal. He does well, but he 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 gets too lackadaisical with his work and 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 pace himself too much, but but yeah, Gutierrez? Uh, yeah, yeah, Gutierrez, but yeah, Renee he, he showed his lord he, when he put him down, I think it was that the second or the third round. But whenever he put him down twice, 
he went hard trying to stop it and he definitely is the one that you can tell 100 percent he shot his load and he had to take at least three rounds to to just like re, you know uh recover like from that and i'm happy he got the knockdown at the end man like because to be honest like you know his performance were, was good he deserved like to, to get that win man but hey what's what's going on with like Two twins, like, because Renee and his brother, they're twins, right? One of them fights at 108, the other one fights at 130. Like, you know, one of them didn't get food or what when he was little. <laughs> I don't you know, know man. One is always bigger than the other, man. It's just a fact. <laughs> no, <laughs> a little bit more. One, than... 108 and 130? Yeah. Like, it's, not, it's not like the child of 154 and 161 division, man. <laughs> it's like four Charlo division big between the two. Pounder, man. Let's keep it real, man. Charlo, yeah. a big 160 pounder. He is small. For 160, he big, man. Jam- Jamel looks like he looked, you know what I mean? You know, 68, I don't know how 68 would look on Jamel, personally. But Jamal can carry that easy. Bro, all Yo. I'm saying is, like, I was shocked to see the difference between those two. When they told me they're twins, I said, oh, really? Twins? <laughs> what happened? Yo, it, the, you know, look, the, it, it was a decent undercard and no disrespect to those dudes, but I, I kind of wasn't done with Ryan because there's so many different layers. Like, we didn't even, oh, speak, of the, we didn't even speak of the mandatory uh, position, right? Like... Oh, with David. Uh, it's a very David unfortunate... David, man. It's a very unfortunate situation. You know, Devin, Devin posted a picture and, uh, you know, it's something like, yo, you won, but but now I'm your mandatory. I mean, you're my mandatory or something like that. And it's just like, damn, bro. Like, yo, he, he's not he's not getting the ability to prove how good he is like all the other fighters are. And I mean, Devin Haney, like, uh I don't know. Does anybody else feel that way? So here's the picture. Let me screen share it. Oh, Call man. you picture status. It's obviously when him and um, you know, the post fight. Francis, did uh, did you read Ken Stone? But the energy from 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 Ryan is just like, no, Devin's my boy. You know, we're we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight, and then everybody starts booing Devin. And, he, and he's like, who y'all want me to fight? And Mario told that story very wrong. I went back and watched that footage. Uh, it wasn't the way Mario said as if Ryan was egging the crowd on to say tank. No, 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 no. They absolutely booed Devin as soon as the cameras panned to him. And they, they wanted tank. They were saying tank. You know, and when he said who you no, want me to fight. I don't know if they said Tank. They definitely booed Devin, but I don't know if they said Tank. Bro, you know, but they were... I think the, the, the one who no, no, listen. Like, on right. listen, these guys, these guys did an amazing job covering this fight. Check out their YouTube channel on the zone and uh, go to Devin's uh, uh, post-fight. It, it's titled there and, and just watch it completely. I guess they got different audio uh, and, and, and you can hear it. You can hear it. They're saying Tang, Tang. He's like, right. y'all want Tang? We want Tang. Yo, ah, uh, but that's it. Like, he, he oh put damn, it in I didn't, he I said, didn't get that. Want that. No, but yeah. they were no, but they were saying like, yo, who y'all <laughs> want me to fight? Like, because he started with who y'all want me to fight. But I, all I'm saying is check it for yourself. Check I it, the booze, check it I all. The Let me just can't. say this. Let me just say that all the footage. Right, the fight has over three million, and and every other every other video that they put up in terms of BTS has uh, a million plus. Easy, especially crazy. that little thrusting video that they got up. That got over a million. Yeah, the props. emotional the emo- numbers? They, 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 numbers. Bro, they titled it the the emotional celebration, <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh it's more like you know Pornhub material. But look, you know another conversation, another day. What happened? Yeah, read that super chat. Um, Alex, Ooh. I didn't get it. Yeah, nah, Ken Stone came through on the super chat. Uh, let me just pull it up. He says Ryan versus Pack. If Mikey's good enough for Spence's. For Spence, it's good enough for Manny. 140 or 147, let's get it. Let's you know, get it. you know, Tank, Tank, I mean, uh, Ryan said that, right? And uh, I'm wondering, man, fuck it. Because this is a show, but, yeah. but we're already on a show, but fuck it. Do you <laughs> think Pacquiao gives Ryan a shot? Because of the numbers, like, and think same way Floyd did Canelo, like grab him young. 
He's small enough where Pacquiao could come down to 140 or some shit. And if you're Ryan, why wouldn't you catch weight with a legend? You know? Just use him for his numbers. You about to fight McGregor? You get <laughs> more, you'll get more respect for Ryan than McGregor. But you, you think like Pacquiao has like what like a, a one year plan, two year plan? What what kind of like, uh, <laughs> more of a fight by fight what, plan? Yeah, no, exactly. I think I think, I think, think like I think it's fight by fight. I think it's fight by fight. So I think you 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 have to present the proposal. Yeah. Listen, so I, I don't got know. 30 I, don't, million. I don't know if that does anything for him, right? So so for Ryan or for Pac? So for Pac how big is that fight? Uh, how big is that fight? If Pacquiao announced Ryan Garcia. Pacquiao. Well, I think it's big. Casual and boxing fans, right? Like, boxing fans want to see, yeah, hey, Pacquiao, Pacquiao. Oh, and then shit. The, the following that, like, Ryan Yo, has. Man, I don't even Bro. know what to say about that. I, hey, but I, I don't like it, but you have to, to recognize that it's going to do numbers. Like, oh, you know? do big numbers. Yeah. Anybody Pacquiao do big numbers. Pacquiao, man. Ryan is a superstar, star in his own right, heading to superstardom. You know what I'm saying? So um, right now his star is, is shining, man. But it can shine brighter as, you know what I'm saying, his career progresses. They, they want Haney, though, dog. That that booing was, oh, I'm oh. telling you, it must have been, you know, the crowd was into Ryan. And and you got the question real quick after you, Alex? Uh, yeah, you know, Ryan, OTKP, Ryan was the main guy. that is a show. My brain is churning right now, bro. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm telling you. Listen. I just want to, hold on, real quick, real quick. So I just many ask you guys arguments there. Do you do you guys feel like the Gamboa win did what it needed to for Devin Haney? Because I feel like he getting shut out right now. Hell no, it ain't do it. I told you that. No knockout. Listen, think about it. Tank got a knockout. Murdered Leo Santa Cruz. Tio doesn't doesn't fall under the under the knockout category because he took on the quote unquote best in the head division. of the snake. He took on the best in that division, so so he got the the the. It, it's all right not to get a knockout because you fighting the best. You wasn't so even. You gone Gary even, Russell and Jr. you was an underdog, and you was an underdog. So should he have gone Gary Russell instead of Gamboa? Would that would have done it? Hell yeah, man! We told him that. We told him that. The I don't know if listen, have done anything, though. The internet like, showed that, though, Mitty. Well, How what, big was what, that campaign? No, what, what it needs is not necessarily the, the opponent. What what it needs is a spectacular KO. That, that, that's what the internet likes. That That's what people like to talk about. Like, do you think a lot of people, uh, let's say a lot of like the Ryan fans, right? But do you think that, that they, Yeah, but they, they, they don't know. Yeah, but because they knew Loma, right? But the, the Ryan fans, they don't really know anything about Campbell, right? They like the explosive finish. They like the action, right? And no one, none of the casual guys like to see a technical fights. Like, although you wash someone out, like, every single round for 12 rounds, but they don't really like that. They want, like, you know, you remember when David knocked that kid out? I can't remember his name, yeah. right? Yeah, Abdulev. Big over. Hey, Abdulev. That's when it went viral. That's when people were talking about him and all that, right? You so, know what? You're making good points, bro. Because that's that's when yeah, a lot of it was it was a lot of people that were excited. You know he yeah, and no one knew that dude, like, that Abdullah yeah. or whatever. Like, do you I really know, know, I, him? I, you I know was what he's done before and yeah. what he's doing now? No, right? So he got I don't I feel like I feel like Gary like would have done would have been it, man. Gary would have had the name and the fight itself would have been so exciting that uh, you know what I mean. If you could have got past Gary, would have been the one man. Would have been the one that they would have talked about, right? Because Gary is the is a champ, man. He's been the, right now the longest reigning champ in boxing. Is it is is it like you know things that that, that Ness is always pointing out to yeah. man? It's how you selling this fight, you know. And it's like you ain't selling it with somebody that's not really like speaking your language, or you know maybe you know you can get some kind of like. Uh, uh, um, not anemone, but some type of like, you know, back and forth going, you know, there's nothing you can expect that not much is going to go on because of that communication barrier. But I think with Gary Russell, I think we would have got more excited because of those things, because, you know, Gary, you already know how he is. He talks, his, <laughs> he says whatever he wants to say, and he feels like he's he's top dog or whatever. And um, I think that that would have made up for some something that would have bubbled into something exciting. So. You know, I, I would have went with Gary Russell too, man. Um, you know, nowadays we got to look at the entertainment side more than anything. I mean, casuals are not really pr 
knowing about Olympic records and amateur records and all that stuff. You know, the casual is not really privy to that. You know, the hardcores can look forward to that and, and obviously uh, admiring the sport from a different perspective. But the guys now, man, you got to look entertainment. Listen, I'm going to add something real quick. I'm going to add something real quick. And this is how this is what I was saying from a person that watch other sports. The head of the NBA, which is LeBron James, on his social media, shouted out Ryan Garcia. That kid is vicious star with over what 20 million ig followers or whatever that's huge those are the type of things that you need somebody to post repost you on they pay some somebody huge like that and that happens a lot of people are doing that exactly. a lot of stars are attaching themselves to exactly. to the, the kid also and Young what kid. he did when he performed right so uh yeah that's that's awesome that's gonna help to let that star shine even brighter but yeah man that's how that's how i look at it any other super chats uh, I don't I think us. Man, I want to hear what the people got to say, man. I'm excited to hear what everybody's thoughts are, how they put together that list of the Fab Four. Call you the people's champ. Um, yeah, the Fab Four. That was it. Body shot. Vicious KO. If you're just tuning in, this is what we're talking about. Ryan Garcia's vicious KO over Campbell via body shot. And uh, is there a new Fab Four? Fabulous four. Uh, yo, Marvelous Hagler, man. That was the man. That was the man. Yo, I'm a, and, I'm a, uh, Oh, I'm sorry. Nah, go ahead. No, nah, I was just going to say, I'm a guy that, that, you know, I like my era. So, yeah, this is my new Fab Four. I didn't get to live for that, you know, R Leonard and all that era. I was a kid, man, so. I was a kid, kid too, bro. Mike Tyson's what really lit, lit it up for me. Mike Tyson. I don't know, like, we're saying that they're the Fab Four right now, but like we said, right, there are plenty of names that can come and upset that Fab Four. I, we, we might have, like, uh, I don't know, a, a Fab, like, eight in that division with all the names that we're talking about, yeah. like, uh, across those two, three divisions at least, right, so. Yeah. People talking about Shakur, like, people are talking about Colbert, like, we said it, right, there's a few other names that you can add to the mix there. Loma. You know, Loma, yep. Uh -uh. Yo, we went into like members only. Yeah, no, I'm taking a look okay. right now. It looks like the that. TPV army is in full effect. What'd you say, champ? Um, Ken Stone? Super chat, yeah. Yeah, Ken Stone says, pack the original Mexicutioner against the new Golden Boy. Pay per view. Golden Boy Promotions has Jesta and Linares if Ryan loses to rebuild with, and he's back in it at 135. Yeah, I mean, listen, if they can trick Pacquiao, I mean, not trick, but if they can offer Pacquiao <laughs> a good enough uh, proposal, that yeah, is the fight Ness, is for. that where your heart is, Ness? <laughs> can trick Pacquiao. You really believe Ryan will, will finish him, Ryan will, will, will beat him. At this point, right now. No, I didn't. I didn't say that. I said oh, Ryan. Will, I, 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 oh, I, I said Ryan. I said Ryan will beat Vasil. I didn't even did give a breakdown on Pack, but um, I yeah, yo, Pack is a whole different animal, man. He has shown that you know he could contest with any weight class and not be bullied. Like, weight doesn't matter. Height doesn't matter. That's one guy that none of that matters with. You know, um, Vasil is different. He's shown that the bigger dudes are, are a little more difficult for him. Where Pac ain't, man. He, he broke fucking orbitable bones on bigger dudes than him. Like, get out of here with your little face. Bang. Get out of here. But uh, Cheesy Harrison with a super chat that says, Y'all trying to have Ryan look like Gerald McLean fighting Pacquiao. Listen. McLellan. My yeah, apologies, listen, McLennan. Thank you, Mitty. Listen, oh, if 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 he can get it, if he can negotiate that fight, that's exactly what he needs to do. It's, I mean, listen, he's the one calling Pacquiao, and 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 you know, Chris Mannix talked about it on the telecast, and he 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 called it a pipe dream. But I don't know, I don't know how much of a pipe dream it is for Pacquiao. He's probably looking at it like, yo, is this the easiest big money fight for me? Like, is it not the easiest big money fight? Because McGregor got to put up a more. Who's going to put more up a I fight? Who's I, I, I will tell you the, the same thing as, like, you know, when we talk about, like, Spence versus Canelo, for me, I'm going to stay the same, right? Just, like, deal with business in your weight class and do what you need to do before just going for those type of fights. But 
Because like, that's what we want to see. Like, I like what we talked about, like, mixing it uh, amongst those four guys. Like, you know, because those are competitive fight against young bulls and they more or less, you know, at the same stage, some of, like, slightly more advanced. Like, let's deal with that, man. Like, let's slow down the Pacquiao fight, man. Like, you know, <laughs> order the Pacquiao talk, man. Just, like, it sounds good. But, you know, on one hand, we're clowning, like, all the the YouTube fights and all the crazy fights and all that. And sometimes we just make exceptions. Say, oh, yeah, Pacquiao and Garcia would be good because of the, you know, the, the fans and all that. It's true. He will make numbers. It's true. There will be a lot of fans. But is it what we really want as the boxing voice, as, like, boxing fans? Or, you know, I, I don't know, man. So, you, know. so you're saying it's a bad fight. Pacquiao versus Ryan's a bad fight. I mean, in what term? In terms of like a boxing spectacle? Yes, it is a bad fight. It is a bad fight. But uh, if you're telling me that I'm like one of their financial advisors and stuff, like maybe it's so, not. But, so, so but that's not what I want. That's not what I want to do. Pacquiao yeah? knocks him out. I want to say that Pacquiao is a bit too seasoned for him. Yeah. Like, you know, but he, does he uh, knock him out or does he only just uh, take him twelve? He will learn, and you want to say that Pacquiao has like power that is. A bit more, <laughs> a lot more than than Luke Campbell. So yeah, like he, he will learn, and you know he could knock him out. I like, mean, Pacquiao you know? will be forty two if he fights Ryan this year. Job yeah, that's true, and that's another Pacquiao reason Job why we don't Thurman want in the those second round of the big fight. Yeah. Boom, uh, and, 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 keep and that's going. another reason why we don't want those things. You know what I'm let, saying? Let the young bulls like <laughs> see, you know. keep getting dropped like that. Let develop, let him develop, man, man. I'm just saying, like. I know, I know that you guys consider Ryan this young guy, but technically speaking, I mean, how old is he? Twenty what? It, is it one he's, two? I don't know. He's like, in I his prime. He's in his prime. He should be able to beat a Manny Pacquiao. No, he's not in his prime, man. Come on, that's no. prime. He, 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 he's not in his prime. He's still, he's still developing. He's I, not even. He maybe, doesn't even have like his full strength. Like you know, he, you know, he will just still 25, grow. Twenty-five. Yeah, twenty-five. He will still grow into his body, man. Like so. Uh, but I, I get what you're saying. Like in terms of money, in terms of names, in terms of hype, and yeah, like we can all agree that would be a fight. And guess what? I'm shitting on it right now. I'm, I'm saying I don't want to see it. But when it happens, I will watch it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But do I want to push for that? No, I don't, because I want to keep the same energy that I had on the on the Spence uh, Canelo. Deal with it from a sporting standpoint for now. Deal with the business later. I, I'm here talking as a fan, right? So yeah, not, not not as a business advisor or promoter or anything, man. So I see. Still, still a good perspective. Ken Stone. On the super chat, he says, "If Manny is chasing the Floyd rematch, you fight the YouTuber that can actually box." Oh, so Ryan is a YouTuber that can actually box. Or is that what Ken is saying? I think, hey, Ryan, I, I like what Ryan said at the end of the at the end of the fight. I don't know if you guys caught it in one of the yeah. He said like, "Hey, you know what? You know, they all said like, you know, I'm an IG boxer. I'm a YouTuber." But today I proved that I'm actually a boxer. I can fight. I'm not just a pretty face or whatever, right? Anyway, he said like you can be whatever you want to be. He, he was a message out there. Like, I, yeah, I, like that, I like this message. That yeah, number said, ain't gonna translate. A lot of people's on it, man. But listen, you gotta build it how you build it, and that's how he built it, man. Oh, what what happened, like Francis? Maybe I think we didn't catch the first part of your argument. I don't know if you were muted or something. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. Like, but yeah, you, you can't. A like, lot of people echo that sentiment. Oh, is numbers? It's, it's IG, is Facebook, it's Twitter. It, it, it's not gonna translate. It's on YouTube. Like, you know, that that ain't gonna do nothing. Well, we seen it quite clear as day that that means something. You build it how you build it, man. You get it how you get it. Whatever mud you gotta get it out of, you get it out of the mud. And the young boy's been doing this from Victorville, California, out of his garage building from day one and he understood and met up with some people who understand the, the industry in terms of social media and this took it to another level and now with his star growing on that side outside the ring his star is growing in the ring that's the recipe for a superstar hmm. okay Super chat from Ken Stone. California. Ken Stone with the super chat Victorville, baby <laughs> we, we we got that one uh Mad the next ben. one was 
Mad Bent 100. Pac-Man runs Ryan. He is too flawed. He becomes damaged like Brooke. Uh, I guess he meant ruins. ruins. Oh! I don't know, man. He's he, he, He'll be like 20-something years younger than Pac, man. I don't know. Man, he, Pac-Man's... He, imagine he runs Pac into one of them check left hooks. I was actually impressed with the way he was wailing on uh, Campbell. Like, he, he didn't seem to get tired. He was wailing on him, bro. He got that stamina. That's why that's Campbell that, said he has yeah, that 20-year-old <laughs> stamina. A few, times, a few times, like, you know, Campbell styled on him, though. You see him, like, throwing that left to your head. He went on the turn him. Like, I was like, whoa. Yeah. Campbell, man. what was happening? What are you doing now? <laughs> bro, he looked like he looked like he just got a red-necked the way he bro, turned that, around. That, They're like... That bell saved Campbell's life. Oh, no. You, yeah. I mean, yeah, the, the bell saved him on this one. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. more like, you know, uh, at one point where Ryan, like, loaded up on a big left hook. Like, Campbell went under. He just rolled it and then pivots. And then he just, like, disappeared off that. I was like, whoa. Campbell's trying to show us, like, he's got skills, man. You know? Nah. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, no, no, that that bell. Yeah, I didn't. I, I don't that think that I round. even. I, I think. I think outside of the knockdown round, Campbell didn't win a round. Um, arguably, uh, he didn't look comfortable. I think he won. Uh, to me, won two rounds clearly. Uh, you could make arguments and looking at the technical side of it and say, oh, you know, I'm rating his fans. I'm rating his like stab jab to the body and all those things. But that's really trying to look for more rounds than. He won actually. Yo, he, didn't, he didn't really look comfortable, man. The the forward pressure that it, it made him look like almost like he was tired in a sense, bro. And and and, and, and to be honest with you, like I said, man, I I, I want to see more things uh, from Ryan, a little more hip movement or waist movement, excuse me, and 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 definitely. Um, you know, he seemed to just be fighting off the high guard the entire fight. I mean, I like the pressure he was putting, but it was just high guard. He has very little head movement. Yo, y'all like. tripping. <laughs> Pack old ass ain't stopping nobody. A, he ain't stop an injured Thurman. How the fuck he gonna yeah. stop a a twenty one young? Yo, he hit your pack hard. Yeah. He's hey, super man, chatted. Man, He's man, super man, chatted. Man, He's super man, chatted. Man, trying to, Still man, sipping. Let's trying to broker that deal, man. <laughs> <He's> super, <laughs> you over know, here sipping that tea, man. Coach Meyer sent the super chat. Read it. Read it. Says, okay, I'm okay. just okay. reacting. Yeah. He says okay. Reynoso knows he has to adjust some things in Ryan's defense, especially against Southpaws. Pack drop Thurman. Ryan will get dropped by Pac Man. Yeah, and Thurman. And Thurman, who's older, recovered. Thurman, who's older and injured, lasted 12. Yo, yeah. Ryan got that young, dumb, young oh, no, energy, man. man. But he, he, he falls, he falls for, for setups. And we, we've seen that. We've he seen do. one of them. But he does fall for a lot of setups. And I think, but he throws in combinations. But, Imagine but he hit back out with that four piece. He's he going to sweep that uppercut and that left but hook underneath. Yeah. Shit. I believe Pacquiao, that. Pacquiao that does one Ryan thing that is quite different defense. from Ryan. Would you guys he, he agree? Did, what what happened? I believe that Ryan's defense is his offense. Would you guys agree? No. I mean, he uses his offense as his defense. Yes, for sure. Like, cause but th that's what he, he is. But no the problem, the, the, the problem <laughs> with that, the problem with that is like with fighters like, uh, even like Campbell, but like with good fighters, when you do that. They'll punch with you and they'll come to you in 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 between your combination. They'll time you. So, but yeah, he, he does. It, you know, it's normal when you attacking. There are good chances that your opponent is not attacking, so that could be used as your defense. I mean, they're good and dead. Super chat for Coach Stop. Myers. Shizzy Harrison. Oh, yeah. Ryan's feet aren't good enough for even old pack. Not, not this fight. This fight coming up, they will adjust that shit, man. They're gonna look at the tape. They're gonna look at the tape, man. Uh, but they, I mean, what it, by feet, I think it means like also the, the, the angles, right? R Ryan is really like, you know, straight up like kind of like fighting tall and comes in like in and out like straightforward right like a guy like Pacquiao will just yeah. give you those like quick fit little angles to the side and all that and that's when he will capitalize on that that's what Campbell didn't necessarily do like well he did it but not with the same style not with the same kind of speed that, that's I, the I hated him backing straight out in a straight line I was yelling at like no stop backing straight yeah. out you gotta pivot and, out 
and it doesn't and it doesn't really change level either. He's still very like tall. Like, he never really bends his knees, like change yeah. the levels and all. It's still very like high, right? So, yeah. He hunches he I mean he, he takes some of the height away, I guess. It, he doesn't bet, but he hunches. He hunches a bit into that freaking high guard, yeah. but he needs more he needs more waist movement, man. I absolutely would have loved to have seen him instead of backing out in the line, you know, dip into the left, you know, letting the guy run into you, staying in the pocket and you know, and doing different things, but you know, pissed off Shizzy. Oh, sorry, my apologies. I didn't mean to cut you. Call you chissed off Shizzy. I think we did that one. Yeah, uh, unless you got another one. No, let me slide in here right now, man. Public service announcement, man. Public service announcement. We appreciate you. <laughs> Like this, man, we appreciate you rocking out with us, man. Sunday evening, there's over 360 of us watching, man, and listening wherever we are, we're on the, around the world, wherever we are around the world. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. It does help with the visibility of the show, and hit the subscribe button, man, because it helps us get your favorite guests on the show for interviews and get us, you know, what I'm saying the best content that we can for you. We appreciate you very much, Midi in the UK, Alex and Ness in New Jersey, Francis all the way in Canada. We appreciate you very much, man. Big up yourself. You already know how it go. Yo, real quick, Border Wars plug. Not only are we rocking out in Florida March 13th, Saturday. Still looking for some fighters. Hit me up on Instagram or Patreon. Uh, I want to ask you guys, have you seen the new footage I dropped? From the no. New no. From where? Well, is, it, is it good? Bro, why he look like a midi and shit? Like, yo. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Now, I don't know how My good cousin. he is because of the sparring partners. You can tell he's better, though. Way better than the sparring yeah. partners. And yes. In the sense that he's so much better than them, he's not abusing them. He's definitely teaching. And you them. have to know. You have to guess that, you know, he's training with like harder sparring partners, but then he can handle a well, we don't know if he's training with harder sparring partners. From from the story, it looks like he lives uh, somewhere where it's probably very difficult to get sparring. Mm -hmm. That's all done in his gym. I mean, in his uh, garage. You, you you have to create your own story, man. I never believed that story. Man. Like I, I, I see what I see and I create my own no, story. No, I mean, look, you're going to see the footage. <laughs> it, 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 I think... Technically, he's super duper sound. No, he's got four amateur That's fights, though. He's not denying that he's fought. He's got four amateur fights, but I think he's got three losses, maybe. Maybe yeah, four, or maybe seven amateur matter, fights. Maybe seven amateur fights and four and three, something like that. Yeah. Hey, in the amateurs, you you find like top dudes, man, and then also you fight right regularly, right? So losses don't really mean too much in the amateurs, man. But I I, I really like the way that he moves, punch placement, pivots very well. You know, like, no one's ever sent some footage that looks like this. And I guess it, they've never sent any footage that looks like this because their sparring partners probably didn't look like this either. But it looks good. He you looks good. Check him out. From now. the you, eye. You, and he's you, 160, by the way. Hey, no problem. Like, No, no, Midi, Midi, it gets better. <laughs> <laughs> he's 6'1". The plot thickens. Uh, he's, six, he's tall. He's 6'1". Hey, man. Crazy. I'm, you know, I'm going to have to practice that Ryan Garcia left hook to the body, man. Oh, Yo. Yo. I, and he's ready for Florida. I'm uh, I'm excited because, you uh, know. That, that's the problem for us. Like, Florida looks like less and less likely for, for us. Like, looks like we're going to go back into full lockdown at some point in the UK. Oh wow, man. No, well, this I wasn't I wasn't going to give them to you for Florida because, you know, that would that I I, I mean, a guy like this we got to build this fight. Oh, we we got to see him, right? <laughs> we got to see him and build it, right? Like I mean, yep. a 6-1 fucking middleweight versus you. I mean, and I'm telling you, you yeah, I favor each other. I'm trying to find my messages to see where he's from, but he's also younger than you, Mitty. This is this might yeah. be the one. This might be the one that 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 gives you, you know, Most the legacy. Most of them younger than me, man. Huh? Most of them younger than me, man. No, no, no. <laughs> let them know, Chad. No, but this is a this is a totally different younger. This is. Let me Don't see ask me that question. Let me see <laughs> Don't ask me that question. <laughs> This this is a Ryan Garcia Pacquiao type of younger thing. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> focus on that fight. Where are we? Where are we? Here we go. Boom. All right. This is it. This, okay. 
Yeah, he says 6'1", 160 pounds, multi-sport athlete in high school, track and Ooh. field in college. Yeah. Yeah. So we got a college guy too. So track and field in, in college, uh, multi-sport athlete in high school. Oh, look at this. Guys, guys sounding like a true athlete over here. Started boxing at 22 years old in Roy Jones Fight Academy. Amateur record, four and three USA boxing. My last fight was over a year ago, and I've sparred once a week for a year now. Say what? I live, I, look at this, I live in Cocoa Bay, Oregon. And, and uh, there is not much going on here. So thanks for the boxing talk. You know, he gives a shout out to the show and stuff like that. And he says that, you know, bad feeling um, about this. he's not the best <laughs> boxer in the world. He says, I'm not the best boxer, but I believe but in myself and would like to compete in your show or just be there to get some good sparring. So, uh, yeah. I, nah, we ain't gonna get you no sparring, Chad. We gonna get you a motherfucking fight. <laughs> Right, I like him. I like him I'm not already. I, I like him because he's not hiding. Yeah, he's not coming up with stories, man. Twenty-eight so he's just years like, old, Mitty. Nineteen ninety-three, a nineties baby, Mitty. Hey, you go ten years younger, man. Nin Yo, nineteen eighty-three. I'm bored. Six-one though. Y'all ain't see the foot. I'm gonna put. A, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna play some of the footage now because y'all ain't even go look at it. Y'all corny. Yeah, inside. yeah. Kent Stone, real quick on the super. How old was Canelo when he fought Floyd? Exactly, hmm. exactly, exactly. You know, in his like late 20s, or like not late 20s, was he 27 or something like that? No? Very young, very young. Oh no, let, let me let me not pick that up. I'm gonna check it. Very young, very young. Uh, maybe 20. Listen, let listen, Pacquiao would be older than when when Floyd fought Canelo. So, so, so Ryan, he, if he can get that fight, he needs to put his team on that and jump on that fight. Listen, Oscar gotta have Pacquiao's number still. Let's see. He is born, he's 30 right now, right? And that was when, he's born in 1990, so that should be easy. Mr. Mayweather, that was in 2013, so oh. he was 23. Yo, 23. Cruz, you disrespectful. You trying to say, so you jump in this fight, big boy? You take this big old 160 guy, this new Jamal James we got right here, if it's that easy. <laughs> Crazy as hell. <laughs> He said, y'all trying to get Mitty a body. Mitty ain't body in this fucking dude. Look, I'm about to play the footage, man. Count to 15. Uh, going right. Oh, I'm watching on YouTube. Yeah, okay. Oh, you watching so, it? You watching yeah. it? You not, not, not the footage. I'm watching on YouTube. So I guess you're right. In 15 seconds. Yeah, That's it. Let's see, man. 15 segundos. Mundos. Look at this. Look at this movement, yo. Listen, I wish I wasn't lazy and I could bend down like this, man. He bends <laughs> he bends well to avoid shots and to place the body shot. And I look, I just realized he's a southpaw. I love the way he drops the left to the and look at his legs too. He looking like Marvin, man. This dude's working every look how low he get on some Prunell shit. Yeah. I ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah. Right. Oh, it, there it go. There it go. Yeah. I, now, now, look, I know. I know his sparring partner is not good, but he that's why he's not abusing the sparring partner. And that's why you can see the difference in skill. You see the punch placement, though? Look. Mm. What? Pulled out with the hands down, but with swag. Not not, not like <laughs> Ryan. Not no, like he Ryan. Have, he could have got, you know, he could have capitalized. He would have gone down. Oh, he's, he's working head down. movement. He's working head no. movement. See? That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Throw right. left in there. Bro, this kid back. looks all right, man. He's ready to rock and roll. Look, look at the little shoulder roll. Oh, look at the shot. He switched <laughs> the orthodox on him. Shoulder roll with the parry. Let's go. Let's go. I want to know who's going to fight this kid. They're not going to want him. They're going to make Mitty fight this kid. Look at that. You seen the check hook? Okay. Did a and, low. and listen, he's not putting power on his shots. Now, look, I'm going to fast forward to show you. He spars with All a right. big dude. This big dude, he ain't, I mean, but obviously, big dude's also novice, man. Big dude's also novice. But look at this big guy he's about to spar. My man Python's bigger than fucking Mitty's head. Look at this dude's biceps. <laughs> that, that, that's going <laughs> to... That's gonna be the promotion of cards. Bro, yeah. look at this dude's biceps, Pi bro. Python biceps versus Coach Mitty. Yeah, Mitty, Mitty is coach. Uh, Mitty is pound for pound number one. But I mean, how long can he stay on the list? That's what's important. That's what's important. And can he stay on the list with a guy like this? Like, it's easy to be on the list when it, when there's no talent. 
Talent is starting to emerge yeah. at 160. Wow, wait a minute. Eric Cruz on the super chat Dude, says. See how you're talking about you, man. You call you call him say that, man. Yo, I didn't even hear what he said. What'd he say? Look at this. Look at this. Talent, man. Yo, working like, a jab on that big that? fella. Look, he's working a jab on that big fella. Like, yo, you, I ain't afraid of all the muscles. Oh, big fella, he looks a bit like Adrian. Oh, <laughs> that's messed up. Adrian look- wish he had them biceps. Nah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a heavier. Yeah, I see. The, I see what you're saying. Bruh, this, guy, this, guy, yeah, this guy, looks yeah, this guy looks in shape. Listen, it's, this guy's arms is. is Bruh, oh, listen to me. Oh, listen to me. This guy, sure. this guy is ready to challenge himself because no one has ever sent me first time like 14 minutes straight of sparring. Man, dudes, dudes are sending me a minute. I'm lucky if I get a minute. It should be like. 59 seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You know, yeah, you terrible. And he Yo, sent, and he sent like 16 minutes of, of bag work. You know what I'm saying? Showing the whole sweat. He must got a GoPro positioning in the garage. So, nah, he's going to be fight, a good does. fight. Oh, that's right, Mulatto. Oh, you want him? He said, man, get him out of here. We'll, we'll ask for the fight. I mean, ask for the fight. It's Maloto. My, Maloto hey, you know, Maloto you know, you know. Let me tell you, Doomy. Let me tell you, Doomy. You know how I remember what's his name? If he beat somebody. <laughs> Push it to the limit. Now, we got a nice a nice Maloto. tall guy. If you so nice, uh, Mr. Barry Hunter trained two years, Spark Brona and why she won, Anthony Peterson. Let's make this you fight. Let's make this fight. My man is ready. He ready. <laughs> Yo, sure. Eric Cruz has some different look, sentiments look. about this. He said, y'all trying to get Coach Mitty a body? Uh, I said that, and that's why I was, like, very upset because he's wild. Oh! He, he's the one wilding. This dude ain't getting bodied by Mitty. Now, I'm not saying Mitty's not beating him. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying Mitty's not the favorite. I'm saying you can obviously see skill. So, you know... It'll be like an Elias fight, hopefully, or or a JD fight. Like, damn, all of a sudden, Mitty's going to become a punch overnight and body this guy. You hear this guy? <laughs> Yo, this fucking, the, the, the team Mitty out here is heavy, bro. They they, they team Mitty yeah, for man. sure. <laughs> Let me see. Yo, Coach, Coach Myers, Let's you want the fight? Go. You want the fight, Coach Myers? He said, Ness, when I send my footage, I want the same playback breakdown from you. You got me thinking he's going to be the next pound for pound TBV star. Listen, you seen the footage and you know, I, I honestly, no jokes aside, I admire the way he gets, Mitty, you don't mind the way he gets low? Like, he must be squatting. I, I don't admire, but I think it's good. Like, I think it's decent. Like, okay, so, so yeah. am I, am I admire is the wrong word. Okay. Why? Because he's a potential opponent. You can't admire it? What's up with no, that, no, Francis? I, 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 admiring is like on the on the level, like yeah, I'm like, you know, whoa, like, whoa, whoa, yeah, like whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, let's just bro, listen, right? listen, so, listen. I ain't seen nobody I, I, else. I, I, Who else has moved comparable to him? The submitted footage. I, I, I admire, I admire a movement like you know. Uh, Waist movement of a Canelo. When I look oh. at it, I'm like, whoa, whoa, yeah, like, but, you know, but that's admiration. I, hear, right? I so, hear you, Canelo's Canelo, but like, we also, I'm just, yeah, we but that's also what we have to, we, we also aspire have to, to the be, very top, right? And we admire the very top. We don't admire dude that does what you do. I, right, but Canelo's every day. the very top in, bo- in, in 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 the world. We talking this guy and you you the top of border war so we admire what you do you a hater i see it he's 160 <laughs> francis and you ain't saying shit because he's yeah. in your division and stainless he's I'm, in your I'm division hating, and mulatto he could be in your division i see a lot of dudes scared coach I myers he's in your all division a whole lot of whooping and you ain't even got a fight man he's in coach man. myers division yeah, man. he ain't coach myers man. division that, coach myers wanted no francis that, that everybody everybody no wanted francis on your heels man everybody we're wanted making, francis coming for you man everybody wanted francis well here goes somebody francis wait what happened what I happened gotta, what you want me to do i'm focused i gotta fight Get no, yourself ranked no, and we no, can no, talk no, no. after. I ain't even talking to you. I'm saying he's in your division, though. But what I'm saying is everybody's calling you out. He's your way. Call him out. He ready. He want to fight in Border Wars. Monster yeah, uh, It will be a nice addition, though. Very nice addition to the... Yeah. Um, so, so, so... Border Wars. Could Cruz make 160? Nah, nah that, that's man. a dangerous fight. That's a dangerous nah. fight for Cruz. He's too tall, man. He's too tall, uh, Cruz. Not even like one one sixty, man. Like, but like, hey, we'll we'll get to one seventy five with uh, with Cruz. One seventy five. 
What do you yeah. What do you think about Chach and Cruz? Chach and Cruz. That's a good fight. That's I mean, a good that, fight. That, that could be a good fight. That gets, yeah. that gets, I like that fight. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I like that fight. Yeah. Uh, My yeah but they, but they also, that. but they also uh, have <laughs> sparred and 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 maybe yeah, they're gonna be on. And, and dude, he just fought in Dallas. He fought. Uh, he sparred him before too. Yeah, but they might nah, say, "Oh, that's like, Team you know, Texas." For, for team me, Texas. For, for, yeah, maybe Team Texas, and I don't know. Like, I like Chad and his energy and all that, but you know, I need like a fight where I know the guy will not come like ten pound overweight and stuff like that. Like, so we're, we're gonna have to do a lot of like. Be very honest, with you, maybe not to cut you. I think he underestimated Border Wars. I don't think he gonna make that mistake again. Hey, not, that's his problem. Have I can only I can, like that, man. Trust me, every dude's I, got pride, man, and I know that hurt him. He went silent for a little bit. Trust me, that won't hurt him, man, because he know he, according to him, he got better skill set, but the gas tank wasn't there, so he know he messed up. He ain't gonna do that again. Yeah, that's hey, cool, but I, I can hey, only go ba based on what he's done, man. I yeah, can't go based you, on what he's yeah, gonna do in the future. You're whooping with no fight, yeah. Oh, yo, I'm, I, do do y'all tell Chris Mannix to get a fight? Y'all can hate on me all y'all want, because I'm telling the truth, that's all. Y'all mad, man. Y'all <laughs> mad. mad. But yeah, that fight's a good one. You don't like that one, Mitty? You think that Chad should fight somebody else first? Yeah, I think so. But uh, ultimately, it's Cruz. Cruz is on man. And Cruz will tell you what he wants to do. Really? I, I'm because just like, I, I'm just like, you know, giving Cruz him my opinion. Puncher, right? But he Cruz decides, man. Cruz got the timing and the counter punch, and and and, and Chad got the, you know, what I'm saying he got the the, the flashy hands, and he, you know, you want he's gonna come forward. So it's really, I guess, you want to say boxer versus puncher. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a good style matchup. Boxer versus puncher. Because Cruz yeah. got what two knockdowns in his fight. Yeah, he got. Yeah. That's no. No, Cruz. Yeah, yeah, Cruz yeah. is a puncher for sure. So and Josh can punch, but uh, we we can't. We haven't seen it. We seen it in sparring or whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh hey, 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 Coach Myers, <laughs> not, like not, fight. now. Now you want to now you want to co-sign stainless. You ain't got to fight either, and I got an opponent for you. See, that's the difference. Ain't no opponent for me. Damn, how did we slide all in that border? Man, man? Man. Nets, you got man. I hear you. What? I hear you. Who I got? Who I got? Go ahead. Let me hear. Who's told available? Told you, man. Troy coming with his pacemaker for you, man. <laughs> Bro, you can't take that, dude. Serious. I, I got a whole conversation I can screenshot to you. I even no, offered to pay the shit. We, I said, what if the community pay? Like, you kidding me? He don't want none of this. I hear that. Bro, I, I would I will ruin a lot of these. Yeah, man. So, no, I'm not making that Bro. offer, Mitty. Yeah, Coach not... Myers. Hold on. Hold on. Coach Myers said that he don't duck no smoke. I want to know if he's trying to take that for March 13th. He Co said, Of course I not. Duck. Nope. Of course not. Smoke. Of course not. Of course not. March thirteenth was well, yeah. What, March what happened? March thirteenth was the day he wanted to fight Francis. Coach Myers. Uh, 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 Francis took a fight. No, but like how? How? Like because like, Coach Myers was always supposed to fight, right? No, no. And he wanted he wanted to fight Francis. Francis never yeah. never uh, confirmed yes or no, and, and and then he picked Stainless, and Stainless picked him. So so that left oh. Coach Myers with no fight. But uh, he 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 never said yo. I'll take another fight. Trust me, you you know better than that with the wolfing. I'll tell you the real yeah, story. Yeah, because that, so that, that story bad. left it to interpretation. But I, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah I ain't doing well, that. <laughs> a, a, a lot a lot of people say like, nah, Francis picks Stanley's because he wants to run away from Coach Myers, man. You nah, know, but, uh, that that's what they saying. Well, I mean, Coach Myers, we got to fight for you. You know what I'm saying? We got to fight for you. Yeah, that's what Coach Myers just said how, in the chat. How could anyway, you duck it, some? It, how it, could it, you duck someone? <laughs> how could you duck someone that isn't more popular than Stainless? And, and, okay. and, and that that has never fought. So like you, he chose an O and O fighter versus an O and O fighter. So so he ducked one O and O fighter for the next O and O fighter. Like y'all gotta y'all literally <laughs> y'all literally need to say the shit y'all be thinking out loud. Before y'all even write it and stuff like Yo, that. that. Like, makes me laugh. I'm done. <laughs> the fuck? I'm I'm a I'm a duck him because he's O and O and won't fight him because he's O and O. Like he hasn't even got footage of Stainless or Coach Myers. So how does he know who's better? How, how is he ducking? He don't even know who's better. He ain't seen Stainless lift his dukes up yet. Like y'all, yo. But I, right, whatever, whatever. Let's go to the Yo, callers, man. Let's mix Francis, it up. Francis, they you're in your 40s. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to get me, Vinny. <laughs> uh, 
What? 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 <laughs> nah, they like, my boy say, yo, Francis in his 40s. <laughs> Nah, he ain't in his 40s. He, he, you know, he he the young one. He the whippersnapper. You know, Stainless gonna have to show him that he's he's wet behind the ears, that he ain't been through nothing yet. That's how it's I gotta go know, man. I don't know. That Francis got that beard, man. Like, he's, he, maybe he's in his 40s, man. Who knows? Yeah, well, he lying about his age. He got a Cuban passport over there, Cuban documents and shit. J- Jamaica, Jamaican oh, passports, man. The Jamaican, you know about them, how many? <laughs> hey, what happened? Let That's me. what Jamaicans in the UK, he know about it. <laughs> <laughs> All Caribbeans do that. They say that about uh they say that about Dominican baseball players, man, all the time. Yeah. All, all of them. Like, yeah, yeah move that age back like, all the time. West African and all that, forget it, man. They play football, like I say, you know, I'm 18. Dude is like 29 or something like that. (laughs) (laughs) Yo. Yo, y'all want me to open it up? Or we gonna let these guys uh, talk to us tomorrow? Nah, 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 nah. Like, come on, man. The colors, man. These calls are brought to you by El Camino Electrical Services. Experts. Sorry about that. It's cool. These calls are brought to you by El Camino Electrical Services, experts in electric vehicle charging stations. For consultations and turnkey installation, visit us at El Camino Electrical Services.com. Remember to rate us five stars on iTunes. Subscribe to youtube.com slash the boxing voice for the latest and greatest interviews with your favorite fighters. If you Wait, haven't that- already. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You want to get them a refresher real quick in case people jumped on late and didn't hear what we're talking about so they don't it, ask go you. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Refresh yeah. their minds. Yeah, so we're talking about, you know what I'm saying, the Fab Four, which would be Marvin, the Marvis Hagler versus uh, Tommy Hearn, Ray Leonard, and Robert Duran, Fab Four of the '80s, '90s. They're comparing it to the the two, the twenty, the 2020, 2021 New Day's fighters, which is Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, Teofimo Lopez, and Javante Tank Davis. Would you agree, or would you disagree? And who would you match skill set with? Who? Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Well. Uh, don't forget if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, go ahead and do that. Uh, we're at 117,335. So, just a couple more to get to the next goal of 117,400. But ultimately, we're trying to get to 118 and then to a million. All right, we're going out to uh, is he a champ? Is he a champ? Is he really pound for pound? Or is he pound for pound? I don't know. We're going to have to find out in the fight. It's pound for pound for sure with the community. But are you pound for pound in that ring? The champ is here! The champ is here! Red belt, black belt, W-O and green. I'm king! Undisputed GOAT, TBE. And you can catch the news first on TBV. Voice of the people, people now let me speak. Scientists of the sweet, B O X I N G. You can hear me? Yes, sir. On to my topic, man. I was talking about it last night, man. I, as far as that division or, the, or this new crop of, of uh, young boxers go. Yeah, I hope that they can establish themselves as, as a four horseman type thing. I, I think I even said that last night. It'd be good to see, man. Even from the even from our generation, the Charlos and like they, you ain't just gotta fight the the big name. Fight each other. You know what I'm saying? Show why you the better boxer. You know what I'm saying? Give us a reason to beat fans and have a fandom like they had back in the eighties. Saying like I like to see that again. I, I think it's time for us to get back to that era because. It's not a lot of favorites to have in boxing right now anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? Nothing else, you know, those fight, like, why not let them clash and see who the better man, you know what I'm saying, who the better boxer. Uh, as far as this Border Wars talk, man, Ness, stop playing, bro. I, I ain't even going to attack Francis no more, man. It, it don't even make sense. It, it's time to focus on the boxing. I told you, it's all the talk is fun, bro, but 
I'm too focused on, on the training right now. You know what I'm saying? We actually starting into the punches next week. So these dudes are serious, man. I I didn't know how serious these dudes was until I until I started adding a little bit more to this camp. So I'm excited, man. You know, I'm excited uh, to what meet you everybody. Mean? Like, uh, you know, I don't like to run. You know, I figured I can do uh, swimming or something else. You know, do jump rope. But uh, not just not just my trainer, Marday, uh, Jay Mack, even Izzy. Like, they very serious about that running. You know what I'm saying? And they got me checking. They had me studying the mechanics of running over my break. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the mechanics of squats. You know what I'm saying? Why they so important. You know what I'm saying? For a foundation footwork you know what i mean so it's like what i what i thought i know i'm finding out there still more to learn which you know me i love consuming that, that knowledge and applying it so it's it's just making me more excited you know what i'm saying and i like i said i haven't even got to the punching yet but in doing those exercises and having to do different exercises i'm starting to understand how important that foundation is in your stance you know what I mean? And how to move my midsection accordingly. You know what I'm saying? And not just the stuff that I was doing in street fights and thinking that I'm applying boxing to it when really I'm just doing thinking I'm doing the shit that I saw on a fight. You know what I'm saying? But it looked nothing like it in comparison. Where now I can I can feel the difference. You know what I mean? And I can feel more power when I punch. I'm just throwing my hands and I haven't even been thrown or shown how to throw a proper punch yet. So I'm excited about that. But I don't know if that's my first call or not, but either way, as I always say, please make sure you push that thumbs up. Share this in every episode of the Boxing Voice Podcast. This is TBV for life. And if you ain't on Patreon, that's because you're stupid. Oh, yeah. Shout out to El Camino. And uh, I think Info said it ain't no fight until like the 20th or something like that. Yeah. So yeah. Y'all, if y'all not on Patreon, y'all are stupid because I don't know how much information these cats are. You know what I'm saying? How much product they can give you on YouTube. But we getting plenty of it on Patreon. So, you got to get on while the getting is good. Hey, thanks again, fellas. Peace. All right. Mitty. Do me. Who's what here? Up? Who's here? Y'all watch the tape or what? What tape? Tape or what? Of my man Esteban Antonio Agu- Al- Alguiano. I-, I watched it with you, man. I, I- Anguaniano. No. You, come on, you gotta watch it on your own, dude. It's, it's like no. I uh, said I watched it with you on the phone with you. We were talking, remember? <laughs> what? No, I haven't seen. What, what type is that? Esteban Aguiano from Border Wars. You didn't no, see, bro. You didn't I, see I, this, I, I, man. I haven't seen that, dude. And I haven't, to be honest, I haven't seen much of the Border Wars footage. I see the notification and all that. I'll take my time to review some of those. Yeah, like, yeah, man. Happened? Check it, check it out. Because I mean, who the hell do I match this guy with? He, he his pivots are too good. He turns too well. What's his weight? He's one sixty. This is the guy yeah. I'm talking about. Oh, the guy. Oh, that we I, just I, I, I got the, the, I got the wrong guy. Sorry, that's, that's his name. The guy that we just watched together, like yeah, now, like. Esteban, Esteban Antonio Anguiano, Anguiano. I don't know, man. Like, but we can match him up with like he different. Turn, people. He turns well. That's why I, I'm just saying. Watch the foot. I'm not trying to hype him. I need help. We watch him together, the... like so. Nah, 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 like, you know, nah. No, have... it's long. It's long. You gotta watch, it's... dude. He sent 40, <coughs> 42 Sorry. minutes. He sent forty-two minutes of sparring. Forty-two. Minutes. I know, I know, but it's not always him. Like you know, you were watching him and like uh, the other two guys sparring. We can skip over that. But like um, the guy who fought Adrian, like I'm oh Dan, 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 the man. Yeah, why not? Cause man, what if this is a tough fight for Dan? Now you got you put Dan in there tough twice. We gotta hey, see man. some real sparring. Yeah, yeah. What that, that, Yo, that, you that know was, what? You know what? What's your background? You know what? The Corey fight might be good. That, that's what I'm just yeah. about to or say. Corey, yeah, or White Boy, yeah. like you know. Corey. Damn, Corey. Corey. Damn. one sixty six one for Corey. You'll take that. You're a dog. You don't understand. Corey, a dog, man. Corey could like, be a dog. Real, he, he on his he on his grind. He know what he's trying to do. So he take all the work, man, going forward. Mm, that's it. 
Yeah, well, he not well, well, he, well he, listen. Oh, he really mad that he didn't get that Troy fight between me and you, all y'all, man. He real tight about that, man. He was really licking his chops well, looking forward to that work. He got it. He got to keep winning. Work, Troy King. It's just Who's the work. Troy, you know, Troy, Troy King. Troy King. Uh, pro, the pro. We had him on. Is there a pro that wants to do more than once? Yeah, he's 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 retired for for four years. I mean, you know, his oh, last okay. fight was like four years ago, going on five. He, he, he has a detached retina that you know oh. he suffered, so he just spars now, and he's a coach. With detached retina, he still wants to spar. No, it healed, but they don't want him to fight to yeah. see if he get more damage. You know, to he's it. just not fighting life. anymore, but he still spars. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He had a detached retina. It's like yeah. So, so why so why. Why can he not get that fight then if he wanted that fight? Like, Troy the dates, the dates. Troy, Troy is a coach yeah. like you and he'll be at a tournament on March 13th. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So yeah, this fight for Corey would be good. I wouldn't, I would, I'm just saying it should be fine. Watch the footage, watch the footage. I, I'm, yeah, I'm watching. I mean, I, I also don't want to feed him to Corey. Corey got 14 fights. This guy got seven, you know. Um, Yo, 6-1, man. Yeah, but we got yo. Listen, man, I'm a producer. I'm a TV producer now. It's not a. It's about. It's about matchmaking, storyline, and then the JD? best fight. JD, nah, JD's coming off a win. Don't forget that the clock is ticking too, champ. Coming off a win is a bad thing. No, it's not a bad thing. But for JD, he needs someone in the ecosystem. This guy's got to make his name, and I'm not going to feed him JD. JD's one of our bigger names. JD's a common opponent with Chu. That, that, that puts him directly. That's how, that's how you build it. That's how you, you said yeah, you wanted to build. I do, but I also want him to get his debut, you know, uh, where it's not about you, you know. If you put him in there with a common a MIDI opponent, it's a wrap. It's going to be all about MIDI. And, and uh, him versus Mitty, whereas right you don't now want, you, you don't want him to pick up a loss, but he's nice. I don't want him to pick up a loss. I want him to, cause he's nice. Cause, he cause want, imagine, he imagine this is what he does regularly. When he says I spar once a week, every week for the last year, yeah. maybe That's he's in he his garage, right? So, so he needs the lights. You know, it's like yeah. Chach. Chach thought, yo, I got six amateur fights. I want a Golden Gloves. This ain't nothing. This is just bored. And look, he got under the lights and the camera, the ring wall, and it what all of a sudden energy zap. So you know, I gotta give this guy the same uh, opportunity to be up under there before he's yeah. in there. So in I the think Dan, Dan the man is the one, but he, you don't want Dan. You think Dan is gonna lose? Maybe Dan fixed differently, man. Like you know. No, no, Dan fought at one six eight. I don't know, could he make? Yeah, that's fine. Like that, that, that's you're gonna have to find like middle ground if you want to build stuff right so that's fine you say yeah, that's your first fight doesn't have to be at 160 maybe at 165 even dan said he wanted to go lower as well right so why not like 165 160 whatever man it's not a title fight you can find your catch weight come on man you're a promoter now man Yo, like... hey this, this, <laughs> this, this could be a nice fight for sal too in the future Shh. yeah sal's got jose right so yeah, he yeah, got he got El Loco problems right now. You know Tony Tony G too, right? Tony G would be a good Tony fight. G. That's a good. But Tony fight. Tony G is out out for a long time. I know, man. man. So. He's got a wild out. But yeah. uh, all right, we, I'm sorry to to, to to change it. Yo, I South, love Southside Ducey, man. Bring him back. Like, yeah, what North, happened to Southside, man? Like, dipped off, don't know, man. man. We don't know. We don't know. But oh. let's get to these calls. We got Brandon in Cincinnati. Let's what go, up, champ. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up. Hey, hold another time zone. Jump up for back with our mind on. Can't play when you here, get your life stole. If you bring it here, then the price grow. Don't jab in the punch in the line long. I drop a pigeon let nine go. We slap with the thick glass and white go. This only happens in Ohio. Yo, Yo Ness, come, come back to me, man. I'm in a heated game of checkers with my uh, girl. All right, you Coach come. Myers. What? He's playing checkers, man. It gets heated in the game. Oh, he's playing checkers, man. Hey, uh, what's going on, fellas? What's going on? What up? Uh, <clears throat> ain't nothing much. Ain't that. Stop trying to set me up with fights, man. 
You know what I mean? When I make my uh, debut, it'll be sometime on your undercard. You know what I mean? This summer or something like that. I got to make a splash when I come through. Um, yes, you are right, Mitty. Francis did duck me. You did uh, You did spill the beans right correctly. We did decide that. And I don't... I don't. I don't let, let me clear this out. I don't duck nobody. You know what I mean? Straight up. I don't duck nobody. Mitty could tell you. I talked to him on the back call and said that he's the goal. He's the one I want to fight eventually. Everybody so I don't duck, says so that. I don't, we tired well, no, of no, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I didn't say it on the show. I told him personally. Oh you know what I mean? God. So I don't duck no smoke. I ain't doing for no clout or nothing. Said in six but, years. Man. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> in six years? Ah, <laughs> uh, stop that. Mitty going to win that belt and try to keep it in the UK. That's what <laughs> Mitty flies to America to that, beat you guys up. Yeah, all right. He gonna win that belt. <laughs> that to the America. Middies three and zero, man. Versus Americans, man. That's all that matters, man. Have all you hey, guys where's... been American, Middy, or am I fucking up your stats? Yeah, all American. Where, where's Coach Myers? You still there? Nah, he's done. He's done. He's in and out, man. He's he's one oh. of the good ones. He's in and out. Coverage. We got. Um... <laughs> Mr. PBC, baby. Boxingwoods.com. I'm the flyest. Canelo talking about he believed he can win. Go to my kitchen. Get the sharpest knife. Cut the bullshit out. I don't care what you do good. I do every fucking thing great. Mr. PBC, baby. Yo, yo, yo. What's good, y'all? Um, I heard you guys talking about the Fantastic Four. Um... That's a that's a good thing, you know. I think that you could put Chris Colbert, Shakur Stevenson, um, Devin Haney, and uh, Javon Tank Davis. They are definitely the uh, Fantastic Four, man. Uh, it's gonna be a hard fight for you know any of them themselves to fight each other. Um, but uh, I don't put Ryan Garcia up there. He's a good fighter though. I think he has good power and uh, so. So why <clears> you, why you take Tio out? Why you take Tio out? Uh, Tio, uh, he's cool. But you I, took I him out. I just like those guys. I just like those guys. <laughs> this four is not enough, man. Shit, make it five then. Yeah, I mean, I'll put Tio in there. Tio is already in there because he got all the belts. You're right. But that's my top no, four. On, you know, that's my my fantastic four, man. That upcoming, the the best of the best, man. Tio's a good dude, though. He definitely <laughs> beats a Ryan Garcia and definitely a... Uh, another person, but those dudes right there, man, filthy, man. <laughs> Hadouken! You know, that's my call. Yo, he's funny. <laughs> Info Joe is a beast. You better check box, Rick. Mr. Info Joe. This portion of the show. We call in the nose, presented by my brother. Yo, what's up, TBV? Am I clear? Yes, sir. You're super clear. What's up, my boxing brothers? How y'all doing? Doing pretty good, oh, I'm man. Good, Bless, man. man. I'm good. How about you? All right, all right, all right. I can't complain, man. We alive today in the new year, shit. <laughs> hey, uh, far as the topic, I was hoping Thurman, uh, Porter, Spence, and Crawford would be the uh, the four horsemen, man. You know, the four kings, rather. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't fight each other. They should have been fought. They should have fought each other twice already. So I thought they would be it. But out of this young crop, I could see it happening, man. And they just start uh, building up, and they all fight each other, though. But you got to push your core in there, though. I would. He had, he had to be a part of that pack. Um, as far as pack fighting Ryan, man, pack will slap Ryan up. It'll look worse than when uh, Pacquiao beat De La Hoya up. It'll be ten times worse. <laughs> he ain't ready, Ness. <laughs> Even if his next fight, I don't care what they did, man, pack will slap him up. Uh, as far as, uh, oh, you know what? The pick em league, y'all. You know, we ain't got no fights, y'all, to the 20th. I put in the Patreon comment section, uh, any of the TBB community have any suggestions on how we can make it better. Uh, that's all I got, champions.
Peace. Thank you, Joe. Joe. Thank Info you, Joe's the beast. If you don't know, chat box red. Yo, Joe, you should get that cut, <laughs> man, and add it into the like. I don't understand some of y'all. Like, like I mean, you need a. I mean, you've been you, you've been doing yours for mad years. Now it's time to switch that up. Get that other one. I like the. I don't know what's it called. Uh, Francis, you're the you're the producer, man. What's it called? With is it the cadence? It's like it's like. Uh, for info, yeah, it's the delivery nah, man in the nah, cadence. Nah, 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 not for info. We, we uh, for 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 our means when he says, uh, call her the year, call her the year. We got boomerangs, pound, for, you know, that line that he need to incorporate that into the intro too. Y'all slacking, man, but anyway, that's a big line. That's his line right there. That... Just like. King is what I mean. I mean, my back. The king is what I mean. I mean. Yo, TBV fam, hola. What's good, man? Here he, here he. What up? Oh hell! Listen, you right about that, Ness. I need to get that in the mix. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, I, I'm not technically savvy as I need to be, but um, yo, I gotta call bullshit on this whole. There's no way that um. Ryan is in that 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 fourth horseman conversation. He can't be at this point. Not at this point. Tio, of course, he beat Loma, right? Tank, well, Tank, you know, I I think because of his potential, he's at. Remember, I, and I think when I asked yesterday, I wanted it for clarification because that's that's the the foundation of my argument. If he's at one thirty, if he's at one thirty, and he really stayed disciplined and stick to one thirty. He's not even thinking about 135 yet. You know what I mean? So it's like, yo, 135, you got T.O. You got, um, you got T.O. You got Tank. No, excuse me. You got, but that's why his name keep coming up. But you got T.O. You got Devin. If you want to put Ryan in there by default, sure. But I think Loma still got to go in there even though he lost. So, you know, 135. Uh, Ryan is on the outskirts, man, but he can work his way in there, and and that's not an assault against his skills. That's just to say it's too early. Give him time, but but nah, not not yet, man. And definitely don't compare him to no fucking Sugar Ray Leonard. Like ESPN got to stop doing that bullshit, man. Like yo, hey, no way in hell. Yo, Sugar Ray Leonard. What just because of speed? That's the only reason why he's as fast as Sugar Ray Leonard on the internet. Cool, but 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 anything else? Nah, bro. Nah, nah. Yeah. You can't too early. So that's my call, man. Listen, shout out to Jordan Baker. It was fun while it lasted, man. I was boomeranging in, man. This shit was so much fun. Getting prepared. Um, I'm a holler, y'all fellas, man. I'm out. Gee. What's what up? Happened? Sounds excited. Me. What happened between him and Jordan? Nothing, nothing. Jordan uh, had gifted him his boomerang because oh. Jordan's pound for pound. So he yeah, gives he gives I mean his boomerang, but he's What's changed up? it. He's changed it. He he gave it to uh, J Mac for some months. I mean for some months. Now he wants it Troy to have it. Uh, uh, so. It's blessing people basically. Yeah. Yes, he is. So, so blessings on blessings on blessings, man. Shout yeah. out to Jordan. Don't ask me that question. <laughs> but yo, um, yeah, um, uh, Ness, just to let you know, Corey said he'll take that fight if dude is willing to get in there with him. Nah, that ain't what that ain't what Corey told me. He does. He does. Excuse me. That ain't what Corey told me. Oh, well, I can show you the text that he sent me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what everybody says? Corey watching the tape right now, man. You've seen him, you know how strong right, he is. But, 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 listen. Fuck him, I know. I know what's going on. Do you think I don't know what's going on? I know. But I'm also, e I also email, um, you know, Antonio, Pe Antonio, Anto what is it? Fuck. Garcia, Antonio Garcia. No, no. <laughs> Esteban. It's Esteban, Esteban. Antonio. I, I, yo, do me. Get on that last name. I've been sent you the link. Yo, you're terrible, man. I swear. Anguiano. Anguiano. Fucking do me, man. Punch Yo, him. let me take a look at it, Chip. Oh, Champion. now? Whoa, Steve. Chicago. Yo, but you're saying it's, it perfect. Steve is Chicago. My town up a town. Hey, Daddy, this is a dollar beat. I drink soda, I eat pizza. I hang out with chicks all day. These fighters still can't beat me. They fight every day, they gain the gym every day. Just give me six weeks, and I got it. Boxingwords.com.
Yo, what's up, guys? What up? What up, Steve? Steve, what up, oh, champion? Shit. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to you, Steve, as uh, Skype is restarting. Damn, I'm going to have to upgrade. Steve is currently battling Thanos. I'm going to have to upgrade yeah. that computer because it can't. Well, but why does Skype always wait for Steve to restart, man? Why are I you doing know. this? <laughs> this? <laughs> Sky, Skype's throwing the whole gun at Steve. <laughs> Reset. But Steve... Yo, Steve I'm kind of happy that there's going to be a little dip in boxing, man. We need to talk border wars. That's all I want to talk about right now, bro. Oh, did you guys hear? Like, the UK shows have been, like, uh, canceled for January. No UK shows whatsoever. So you had, really? like, uh, yeah, you had, like, the Josh, uh, Josh, Josh Taylor versus, like, yeah, um, that guy. But I thought that one got, I, got the, I, thought, I thought that got pushed back for COVID, though. Yeah, that, that was pushed back like many times, right? Like for illness, then COVID, then now again, like it was supposed to be in uh, um, in January. So all the shows are canceled until further notice. So it's probably going to be like, longer than January, right? So no boxing in the UK, man. Coach wow. Myers, Coach Myers, continue looking at the screen and I'm going to show you how to subscribe to the YouTube right that's what you're yeah. asking right and i'm assuming you're asking members but regardless if it's members or not uh i'll show you how to do both members and um regular subscription right so i am screen sharing now so count down 15 and you should be seeing what i'm 14 saying. 13 12 11 and then you 10. see my cursor i got the cursor just you know moving moving so you can find it. it's like a little fly now it stopped moving because i just call them moving and grooving i just want you to focus on it while i open up this other computer that has finished restarting but I just or you could just click on the link in the description and go straight to our three tier options yo that is they, true they, they, that's true there's a pin comment. <laughs> look at, look at, look at, look at, look <laughs> There's also a pin comment. You're right, Mitty. I also did that. You guys are so great. But anyway, you just hit this join button right here. Look, you hit that join button. You could also go down to the description. See, it says join this channel right there. The, the problem with most people, though, is like oh. they're they on their mobile device, like on their iPhone. And that link you, is it. You don't see that automatically, but the pin comments and the link, yeah, that those ones pin will comment. take you there. Pin comment is right. Wait, oh, this is the pin comment, right? Here. Yeah, is it in there the chat go. section? No, if you there go in the chat section and then go to the top, like in yeah, blue, the that's top, top left that, corner. Yeah, that boxing voice, like highlighted in uh, in yellow. Mm-hmm. Paste and your little see, thing thing in the chat. That's the comment at the top of the of the chat. Yes, Ooh. sir. So there you have it, Coach Myers. Looking forward to calling you Coach, a member. Coach Mid with the with the savviness. Yeah. No, yeah. Midi, Midi, listen, the the what's it called? The, the He's COVID. a gamer on the DL. I I know about you. <laughs> yeah, Coach. the COVID. You're you're a legend in in, in, in the secret <laughs> yeah, circles COVID. of gaming. COVID, COVID got him on his game, and him, and, even him and his son, bro, they rock out with. Listen, anybody that knows OBS knows oh, yeah. knows their way around a little bit of software, because OBS isn't easy. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of bullshit in there. OBS is good, man. It's nice, but you have to have like serious power in your computer to, <laughs> to handle that all the stuff that you want to do specifically. Got to get the alien computer, build it. Uh, we got... Processing power. Who's next? Who's next? Great. Oh, yeah, we never got the Steve because the computer restarted. Steve, what up? Steve, yeah. we're back on the You can hear me now? We hear you yeah, now, man. Champ. Yeah, all right. They can't hold yeah, you man. now. We started off the year great, man. That was, I was, that was an entertaining fight. Uh, it, it was great. You know, uh, Ryan fought through the little adversity. He had to... Uh, go through and you know let, let's be honest here ryan is good for boxing you know he's that crossover guy like tank is you know he, he reaches over to different audiences than these other fighters that are just known within you know the boxing community so it's a good thing that ryan won you know for us uh it's it's you know i, I was i was happy about it because i think ryan 
Now, what what he does, uh, I'm not going to do this comparison thing you guys were doing on today's show. I don't, I don't like doing that, comparing that. You know what you guys, but what he does from here, you know who knows. You know, you know we know that he's been calling out Tank, and you know a lot of people saying he ain't ready in that. Well, how do we know if he's ready? And to be honest with you, all these guys need to fight each other. Because really the only guy that's accomplished anything is Teal. He beat the guy. You know, if we look at, you know, Tank, Haney, uh, Garcia, you know, they, they all need to fight each other, you know, sooner or later. You know, the, these guys, uh, you know, sitting around fighting, you know, guys in the, in the, in the, in the lower rankings, I mean, what is that going to do for them? If Ryan fights Lenars, why, why would we want that? You know, it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, but, you know, we need to see him. We need to see what happens. He's telling us he's ready, you know. Uh, now, the only wild card I throw in there is Fortuna, because to me, Fortuna, if he does get, if Haney does get him, you know, is his mandatory and they actually make the fight because they've been talking about it, but I've never seen any action for it. He's the one wild card that I think he gives any of them a tough fight. But when we sit down and look at everything, you know, Teal right now is the guy. He's the one with all the belts, you know, or with, with the majority of them. And, and he beat the guy that everybody thought was the guy. But outside of him, who really has any of these other guys fought, you know? You can debate this, that, and the other. But at the end of the day, they need to fight each other. So let them do it, you know. Let Ryan go for Tank. Let Haney get the winner of that. And so on, you know. And let the winner of that get get Teal, you know. Like, like why do we got to marinate this shit? These young guys are hungry and ready. Let's see some good fights. I mean, these are the fights we want to see as fans. Or at least I do. You know, I want to see good fights. I don't, I don't want to see these marination fights. <laughs> I mean, that's where I'm at with this. So uh, that's all I got. Marination fights, man. That's true. I mean, we we're telling we're telling uh, uh, everyone to go make a name, go make a name, give the exciting fight, so we can start really getting these top fighters and in, in the ring with each other. Adrian, Wisconsin, what up? Hey, man, what's going on, y'all? Um, as far as the um, what you guys are talking about, I still think that there's a couple of these guys that you're talking about in the new Fab Four that aren't as proven as those guys were that you're talking about in the 80s and 90s. So I think some of them dudes need to marinate into being considered as great as those other guys um, before I even really... Um, address those people fighting and ryan i mean i i think that popularity wise i think you're right that he's there he's good for boxing uh skill level on the other hand um i, I think tank kills him um i, I don't want to see him fight any of those dudes i think he still needs another fight to work on some things that we've seen him be flawed at um in that fight uh because I don't know, he might look like Leo Santa Cruz if Tank put a put a punch on him. He might be smiling in his sleep, thinking he won the fight. Um, but yeah, you know, beyond that, um, great show. Uh, Ness, I'll get with you when that guy gets with me right away. Like I said, he's not me, he's not my boss, so I can't 1,000% speak for him and, and how quick he is and not understanding how fast I need that footage. Nah, it, <clears throat> listen, it's all good. I was just, like I said, trying to match him, but if we can't have it, we already got too many fighters on the card, to be honest with you. We ain't going to be out of there till about six, seven hours, but, you know, I love what I do. I feel you. It's shaping up. It's going to be fire. Border War, <laughs> Border War is going to be lit in Miami. I can see it. I see a lot, of, uh, a lot of really good matchups and a lot of great newcomers coming in. Uh, the, the level of competition is definitely stepping way up compared to uh, some of the videos I've seen. So it's going to be lit. Yeah, man. I wish uh, I wish Doomy would, uh, you know, take advantage. Maybe you got a weight cut certification. Woo! 
Let's go, champ. You feel me? I wish Dumi could get down so I could see what he's about with some of these guys, man. What's up, what do you Doom? mean, get down? I'm so, Dumi, you're fighting, right? Or, or you still don't he's know? A, he's 5'10 in the cruiserweight. You know what I'm saying? Cruiserweight heavyweight. Dumi needs to be like 160, 165, 170, 175. You know? I need yeah, that in the, Smitty uh, 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 training so I could get down. Yeah, but in the meantime, though, like for March, you wanna you wanna take a fight or you just no, like he got a heavyweight fight. Busy? He got a heavyweight fight. Oh, and, you got a heavyweight. And fight? And he's doing yeah. zero training. Doomy's getting knocked out, man. Unfortunately, man. Ah, he's not getting knocked out, man. You cannot play boxing. I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure Ness is This dude's gonna, got 40, <laughs> yo, yo, damn, Mitty's really been MIA. This dude's got 40 no, amateur I've seen fights. that guy, I, I've seen that guy on the pad. That guy was like a, a middleweight, right? Like when he, when he was boxing. Oh, like, so, um, oh, so you think that, so you giving Mitty, you giving Mitty, Mitty, you giving Doomy confidence to say that, oh, you're the naturally bigger man because that guy's moving up to heavyweight? I think so, like especially also like the way he fights, like he doesn't really fight like a, like a heavyweight. He fights, or maybe unless it's Gerald Miller, like throwing a lot of like you know, not that heavy punches, but like volume, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but but once you start put the mustard on those shots and heavyweights, and you want to keep the same output, I don't know. Unless he's doing yeah, the same thing with Gerald beat, Miller. Who knows? That's how you be. Uh, do me with the pity pads. Da, 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 da. Keep them, you keep, you hey, yo, why are you? I'm not a yo, pity pattern. Yo, you keep them. No, no, keep doing. Like you beat it. Yeah, they beat you. With yeah, the pity pads. they beat you. Oh, oh They okay. keep you busy with the pity pads and you stay on defense all day. <laughs> then he throws two, three bigs. <laughs> yo. <laughs> Look, nah, tomorrow you hold the pads for I'm me, right? With you, or we yo, going to coach Barbie, mode. Barbie, right now, like, see, Nesty really ain't your fucking friend. Why are you? Nah, I'm fucking with him. <laughs> this, is, this is motivation. This is motivation, Bob. He got to get out there for you. Yo, last thing I want to do is fucking have to scoop him up off the canvas, man. Never, nah. man. Never, bro. You know that's not my thing. Yo, but, but I do, corner, I do want to start training tomorrow. Neutral corner is working, bro. These dudes nah, out here. Really, nah, really, really shout really out to neutral. Working. You know what I'm saying? I'm not underestimating neutral one bit. Um, you know, acquiring that many fights, you know, you gain experience. So I'm, I'm not at all for one second sleeping on neutral. So, shout out to you, and uh, uh, you know, let's let's make this an exciting oh, so fight. The guy is actually the guy that super chat neutral corner, right? That's yeah. Him. Yeah. Oh, that's that's what's he up. Wanted the, he wanted the 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 uh, yo. Listen, matter of fact, Izzy knows the last time somebody called out Doomy, they ain't get to the, to fight him. <laughs> Let's see if this one makes it to the ring, yo. Yo, it's serious, man. Yo, listen, those are the tougher fights when they watching you and they like, I want him. Your first yeah. fight, you want me? I would be disrespected. That's what I tell Mario. And, and, and even you, friend. Yo, your first fight, you want me? You, you better watch your mouth. You know what I'm saying? But I hear you, um, man. I guess we all look hey, at things different. Cruz, Cruz got you, man. Like, Super Chat Cruz said, like, the only one stopping Doomy is the ref from beating his opponents, man. So you see, that's your confidence back to me, man. Listen, listen, the man, the man has power. The man has power, but we have to, we have to understand that with power, you waste a lot of energy. And mm. if power doesn't land, see, he's lucky that it's a three round fight. Imagine, imagine a six round fight. It would be difficult because once he gasses from the big power shots, it's just, Get on the meeting. Hey, yo, you read Coach Myers. Get on yeah, the meeting. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, Coach Myers. Hold on, coming. read it, read it, read it. He said, like, Coach <laughs> Myers. He said, Ness. Ness said, Dooming is going Nate Nate. Nate Robinson. Ain't it crazy that that's a thing now? Like, Nate, Nate. instead of going Night Night, you're going Nate Nate. Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get to. Uh, you got Troy. Oh. You got Troy's um, super chats from before? Nah, friends. All right, so he had two. He said, um, Troy? The first one, he said, Corey watching tape. Oh, and Troy then, King. And then, yeah, Troy King. And the second one, he said, is watching tape is very important. It is different when you're in there with me, Ness. What Corey say? Question mark. 
Well, uh, Corey didn't watch, say he was watching tape. I just assume he was watching because I sent him the link. Uh, so you can't really pin it on him. But like, I don't. I'm, I, I I would. I recommend watching tape. I ain't no, with all isn't that. Troy the, Troy the pro? Like yeah, the yeah, pro? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. he still wants to fight. He still wants to teach Corey a lesson. But, he, but he won't be there, he said. Yeah, like, he he's... can't. He can't make March 13th. He's got to. He's got. So how is he gonna fight him? It, they, he wants to fight Border Wars 11. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Troy, man. He's also a ringer. We're going out to uh, Hawk in Maryland. Hello. What up, champ? Hawking them down. Hey, too much. How y'all fellas doing today? Oh, See, y'all talking about the Fantastic the, the Four? Fantastic yeah. Four, but comparing them to... Do you think we got our own Fantastic Four of this generation comparing it to the old one or no? Yeah, yeah, I think we got it going on. Um, uh, Just like they had the four there, and there was still some outside talent like Benitez. He fought all of them, too. Uh, you had the Hawk, Billion Jack. I mean, that, yeah, the Hawk, Aaron Pryor. My fact, Aaron Pryor, he was one around back then. And um, Alexis Arguello. So there was a couple that was outside of that Fantastic Four that was really good. Just like now you got, um, uh, you got what, Haney. You got uh, the uh, Lopez and um, the other two. But you still got uh, the dude on the outside that's with Bob Arm. What's that boy? He's a killer. Um, Virgil Ortiz? Uh, what's Oh, Shakur, 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 Shakur. You know, yeah. he's right outside of that little four y'all talking about. Shakur could actually beat either one of them also. So, you know, you can't put no doubts out there. Shakur, he's a danger to all four of them boys. But um, I think Lopez is really basically on his way out of that weight class. There's nothing happens this year. Yeah, that's true. But, I mean, those Fantastic Four or, like, the, the four of back then, they were going across yeah. multiple division also, like... Yeah. Most, most notoriously, notoriously at a uh, middleweight, but Sugar Ray and uh, uh, Tommy Earns, like they went from like welterweights to super welter. So yeah, it's more well, than just well, one. Well, actually, division. Roberto Duran came. Yeah, Duran. Roberto came Duran came, came up from a very well. lightweight. Yeah, yeah. I think it's only like Hagler. I want to say that's stayed consistent at like middleweight. Uh, who? Marvelous. Marvin Hagler. From, from Oh, yeah, Marvin Hagler. Hagler. Well, yeah. he almost didn't even get in that mix where he got Tommy Hines, but Sugar Ray Leonard chose to fight him late. Yeah. He got at him late, and he, he uh, basically outpointed Hines, uh, Hagler. <laughs> but Hagler yeah. reminds me a lot of that Lopez boy. Remind me of Hagler. Yeah. Also, in the comparison, like, in terms of skills, you would say, like, you know, Lopez to you style wise is Hagler. Like who would you say like Ryan Garcia is? Is he like uh, uh, Sugar Ray? Like uh, uh, suggested in the picture or Sugar Ray? I would say he was more like a like a he was more like a Hearns with that height. Yeah, I mean that's what's going to be able to uh, give. Yeah, you know, yeah, that'll be the problem for uh, Davis. I think um, yeah. I don't know why everybody is so hard on. Uh, 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 the 44th this weekend, but because uh, I think he'll do really pretty good against Dave. Cut it, cut it, yeah. Greatness. Greatness. Going one. How we living, y'all? How we living? What up? We Bless. What up? Blessed. That's what I like to hear, man. That's what I like to hear. Yo, as, as far as the the Fantastic Four, as everybody is uh, coining that phrase, you know, I, I I definitely see them making a mark. This is a good start for for the for twenty twenty one. So uh, it's, it's it's something to look forward to. So I'm, I'm I'm excited. It's good to see that ESPN is you know they throwing a they they little spin on it, which which is good, man. It, it got us talking. As far as uh, us striving for greatness, as those top four are, yo, Ness, man, we got a politic now. Check your messages uh, so that we'll make sure everything is good, man, for uh, for tomorrow for our session. Absolutely. I just text you back right now. Oh, wow. Are you I guys guess. gonna go <laughs> spiral together? Walk. Yeah, yeah that's walk. a fact, Mitty. That's a fact, Mitty, man. We, I don't we, know, we, we, I don't we don't know about all that spawn. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. 
we gonna see is he ready for all that you know what i'm saying i, I got Wait. some new pads i want to work Wait, this is ready man now nah, we're Wait. gonna work him we're gonna we're we'll gonna put him through we'll the fire see. we're gonna we'll put him through the fire we'll pad see. work he heavy active pad work we're gonna drain him he wants to we'll let's make it work man let's let's, let's make it work man if he's yeah, ready we're for spawn, we're we gonna know if he's ready and if he's ready we'll spawn just make sure you guys recording landscape, okay? Uh -huh. Landscape. You ain't recording nothing. Where's your stuff at? Yo, Francis, can I get some like bag work? Nothing. Nothing. Can I see some like some combinations on the bag? Him or stainless. Stainless ain't even submit shadow box. And at least at Aww. least he's, he's, at he's least. not allowed. He's, stainless not allowed to shadow box yet. What? Uh -huh. He's he started from the <laughs> no, ground up. No, I'm telling you. No. He started. No, fuck that. <laughs> They Fuck said they that. said they building they building no. the foundation. <laughs> nah, I'm done. I'm done, man. Uh, yo, I nah, know, you got a shadow box. I know that's a joke. That's a joke right? Let me go to J Mac. Is he here? What the fuck? Who the fuck is that? stainless man? You got a boomerang, right? Come on, come on back, <laughs> man. What the fuck is going on, bro? Listen, tell me this mini's fucking oh, trolling. Not yeah, that's that's Mitty trolling, man. Oh. Don't, don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I, I was about I was about to I was about to share uh Sugar Hill number with you, man. If that was the case, I'm like, fuck it, man, because you wow. My bad. I, I didn't mean shadow box. I mean like you know, it's not it's not allowed to put the gloves, man. That's I know you can do it, man. You got the you got the Yo, so so you, you do shadow box though. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. You so no. send us some footage then. We ain't even got that. You got pad worker Francis, man. You got no, you no. got you got like yo, you got mad shit with Francis. You got you can even t turn the volume up in here, do me teaching them. Like, where the footage right. at, man? I, I seen that that one little five second clip, bro. Five like, second? Chill, yo. Don't make me go to YouTube and type Francis, man. Have you have you not heard me saying for days now, I ain't been off in in a month. Oh, what? so your name is Stainless Excuses? What? Nah, yeah, nope. I'm saying, what, what am I supposed to put up a five? What am I gonna put up a five second? Nah, nah, the only Stainless, this ain't the Stainless I know. I know Stainless 2016 Hard Work Dedication Award winner. Not nominee. Put your hands in the air. 2016 Stainless was a hard worker and he was dedicated. He wasn't making an excuse. I don't know who this man is. I'm talking to. Let me right give now. Bill Gates money and you can buy this talent. I have no clue who I'm talking to right now. I don't know who he is. Who is he? Who is this imposter? This is not my Stainless. Yeah, you sound silly right now. It's gonna be alright though, man. Alright, but the footage is here. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it right here. I'm about to put it in the chat for y'all. Is right? Cause we need some we need I want to see some shadow boxing man what's up yeah yeah yo we got to be more listen is that this season we have to be more uh on top of these things be stricter with footage we're getting more and more knockouts we we need to make sure that we're making the right decisions in the match Deadline. making 31st right Deadline to pay the to pay the fees, man. We need that. We need that sparring footage. We don't want to give nobody eight weeks only, you know, because like right now, y'all y'all got uh sixty nine days, sixty nine days. So that's that's a that's that's nine weeks and what three days? Nine Why are you weeks? putting so much pressure on like stainless? He's doing everything right. Right now he's just like learning the, no the mechanics of him. running. He told you earlier, man. I ain't man, putting like, no pressure on him. Listen, guy, listen. Stainless is a pound for pound. He made a mixtape. He won an award. <laughs> like people, you, want, you people... want him to beat Francis, huh? No. No. He wants, he's he wants, he's he wants gonna to inspire to people. Sugar Hill, no, give him shit because you want Stainless no. to kill me. I hear you, Listen, bro. You even if he kill bullshit. you, even I'm if on he kill you, even if he kill you, even if he kill you, even if he kill you, it was meant to be. But the thing is, that <laughs> the thing is that he's. You might have to eat that word and shit it out, boy. He's a fixed he's figure in the community here? for like the last five years. Give them, yeah, the, give them the footage that they desperately want. It's like, damn, stainless. Oh, stainless. That says you up in their whole stainless. They did the like, damn. Can they see you, my man? 
I'm going to put you to sleep. I'm just saying, y'all don't know how to be fighters, man. Then y'all want to talk about, oh, Bud Crawford need to promote himself. Oh, you, you Stainless Crawford, man. Stainless Crawford. <laughs> I take that. I take that. And as I always say, that's what you can call me to. That's that's going to be my night, my rain night. Stainless Crawford. Ah, everybody wants nah. to Crawford. I already said I'm the Crawford of TBV. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Please make sure you push that thumbs up. Share this in every episode of the Boxing Voice Podcast. This is TBV for life. And if you ain't on Patreon, yeah, you stupid. And shout out to El Camino. Peace. Shout out to El Camino, man. Are you not entertained? Shout out to we, we, we approved for four Border Wars this year, man. All right, so we got Boomerang Coach Myers. All right, well, if no boomerang from you, champ, that means everybody. Uh oh, we got. Still in the Holland Ringa. Tunnel, man. We got Ringa. Ringa. Not only trying to block Lewis from getting into the ring, he once told us he knocked down a horse. Remember that? But the horse got up at four. Horse got up at four. <laughs> and he did it with his left hand. Not his right. left of Costa Rica guaranteed him 100 grand if his promise comes true of three or less. Promoter Don King said he'd throw in a Corvette says that he would like to thank God and Don King for this opportunity that he can go forward with his family and progress from poverty, you know. <laughs> I love that. There yo, yo. <laughs> yeah, Ricardo, that's Ricardo Mayorga, one of the uh, <laughs> greatest from his country anyway. But yeah, he was very entertaining. I, I watched a lot. I probably watched like 10 of his fights, man. And he was highly entertaining during his time. Highly, uh, he was like a he was like the uh, like Aladdin, uh, Adrian Broner per se. Uh, but yeah, man. Uh, about the border wars, you know that always excite me. And honestly, I'm kind of with you, Ness. You know what I'm saying? Like promote yourself. I'm on all that type of time, but at the same time, I do see where stainless. Uh, specifically is and he ain't there right now you know what I'm saying he coming from ground zero into the ring <laughs> he ain't coming from been training in shape none of, none of that he coming from literally off the couch to the ring uh, so yeah it's just gonna be a little bit it's a different process completely then like per, uh, let's go with Marvin Marvin been off the couch he had some fights I don't really see Actually, I do see him promoting himself pretty well. He's showing the belts. He ain't the best shit talker or nothing like that. But he doing... I know who Marvin is outside of the ring as well. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to, like, a boxing standpoint. But I don't know, man. It, I, that's why I like people like you. That's footage, why I wish man. he could be in Did it. Did you see the footage, man? Which footage? Y'all tripping, man. Y'all oh, the new dude. Is y'all notifications not turned on? How does a six one? What footage? The middleweight, man. What footage? Oh. Esteban. The new dude. Yeah. E so check this out. When I seen, y'all, you ain't even give me a chance to answer before you start flipping out. Anyway, uh, I did see the footage, but I didn't watch. It, it was forty minutes long, so when I clicked on it. I was at work, sitting there looking, looking. They, like, walking around in the gym. It's 40 minutes. Like, I didn't even get to the part where they were fighting because it was just people. I didn't know who was Esteban. I didn't even know. So, that's I mean. yeah, that's what's boys going say, on with that. Boys talking the truth, man. They no, don't know listen, how to promote listen. Themselves. I, 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 I ain't short, got one. Listen, and that's I'm true. more interested to see it now after you've been kind of gassing them up. But oh, it ain't I no hope gas. people in high it ain't no gas. It ain't no gas. It ain't no gas. No, oh, he squats well, he says. But he says, oh, you see how he squats? Check <laughs> this. Check this out. Check this out. I'm from, you I'm from Alabama, of a man. Gun, man. He got the <laughs> and I know you can do it, man. You got the. You got the. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Alabama, Yo, he and we got it. We we bit. Oh, we big on football in Alabama, and recruiting is a big thing as well. So when I see people looking good in the recruiting standpoint, that's one thing. But when you're in an actual game, when you're in the actual fight, 
that's what I look at the most because all the preliminary stuff really don't matter uh, when it comes to I don't really gas nobody up like that. <laughs> I got to see you in the ring. Except for white boy John, you know what I'm saying? That one white boy, I think he's going to do his thing for real. Cause so you picking he, him against he, DeMarcus? He, he, he about that. You picking him against DeMarcus? I, I, ain't, I ain't say I've made no pick. All I said was that, that one white boy, I like him. I like how he talk his shit. I like how he training. White boy been training for like a year and a half solid on getting in the ring with somebody. He been talking. He the one called out CYP and stuff like that. CYP my guy, but he showing real heart, real grit, and doing everything he can. Getting mad because he can't get championship, all type of stuff. My boy, I'm, I'm liking that. That's real energy. But you don't get him no love. You know what I'm saying? You talking about Esteban. I don't, it was, I don't know, but Bruh, fighting in a basement. I don't know what's going on. All right, yo, that's why, yo, just remember, man, I I, I told y'all about Crawford years ago. Not, maybe not you specifically, but years ago before he was yeah, on TV, yeah, yeah. man. You got to see little subtleties, man. And, and, and I, again, this is all in comparison. I hadn't seen him. I hadn't seen him. This is so all in comparison. You might be 100% right. To Border Wars footage. So it, 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 I'm, I'm, just, I'm just comparing it to what we've received in 10 seasons. I'm like, okay. And you, the other day on the show when Frank, when you were talking about Francis, and I said I got, I had a feeling he wasn't training. You were talking about clips that he put. I didn't see those clips because it wasn't the actual post. And also, yeah. he the one that went along with that. He was saying, yeah, I'm of in the So I didn't lie. Of course he I didn't lie. He just went it. along with what I said. Of course, because that's on, what he's trying to do. He's he trying to play mind games with Stainless, so of course he's going to go along with it. I think Stainless doing the same Man, thing. Man, Stainless ain't even at the point where he needs to play mind games with nobody. He needs to get himself in shape. Like, it ain't, you ain't even got to play mind games with somebody like that. It, right no, now, they no. both coming off the couch. Frank, Stainless, so, uh, I mean, France is short and fat. He ain't been in the gym. He, he ain't got no type of technique or nothing like that. But he actually trained it, and I'm proud of him for that. <laughs> no, I ain't mean to call you fat, but yeah, that's how I view you. <laughs> and then Stainless, no, I mean, they just ain't on that level at this point, bro. They just ain't. But I do want to spar Stainless. Me and him going to spar before the fight. Uh, I'm giving him as much time as he needs to get his stuff together. But that's going to be the fight before the fight. That's the fight before the fight. And Stain, he keeps hitting me up, wanting me to train, so... Yeah, he about he he about that action, but he he just at a low level right now, a very low level. Yo, so take a look at Esteban, man. <laughs> you you yeah. know I'm gonna check it out. I didn't check out everything. What you giggling about, Francis? <laughs> he he don't want that Esteban uh -huh. work. He twenty eight six one one sixty. You know. <laughs> I'm giggling about your your um your short and fat comment. That's what I'm giggling about. I mean, how how tall are you? I'm short. I was I didn't say I disagreed with you. I said I was just giggling at the See fact. What I'm that saying now you, bro, I ain't even into playing the games. See, you playing the games again? What game am I go. playing? Just like the other day. How tall Yo, listen, are man. you? You you call me out, tell me that I'm short and fat, and I'm giggling at it. You want to come saying? at me? Come on, now man. Come on, bro. Hey, what oh, happened? How tall are you? Out, man. I'm not that type of Francis dude, man. I, like, listen, I don't take that type of stuff. I come back. I shoot back, bro. He's like, like what's five, up, man? Like, he like, come like on, five, keep it seven. straight, man. You said to me, I, well, I can't laugh now? I got to ask you to laugh? I said, what you, don't matter I said, what what you gig, one, you go from giggling to upset. You, you went from giggling to now you're upset. Mm. No, hey, I'm not upset. to get into your Do head, man. You... you Tell me who I am. There you go again. They're Tell me. Got you, on, <laughs> you on the juice, bro? You on the juice, bro? You like that head. Road, road rage. Road rage. Uh, he bro, having bro, road bro, rage, bro, man. He's been taking too bro, much in pretty much out. Man, I go to zero to 100 real fucking quick, man. Don't come at me certain type oh, of way, man. I'm just oh, not that that's dude. that Drake shit. That Drake shit. Oh, come on. Zero to 100 Y'all don't know me, quick. man. Come on. I never heard... I never heard a Canadian say the F word before. Y'all too nice for that, man. Relax. Canadian, that's what, you about to know this Here's one, though. I Canadian. promise you that. They, they not to be known. Who cares about Canadians? Who, nah, I ain't going to go that route. 
<laughs> but yeah, man, shout out Drake, man. Shout out Tory Lane. Yo, word, that's my dude. I think it, I think it will be a good fight for both of them, though, man. I hope they both do their thing. I honestly see it being a draw as far as at this point of training and whatnot, where they at. Who? But you know, I'm looking forward to it. Who? Who? I like Francis as a promoter better. Wait, wait, Francis you said, and, uh, wait, Sanders. wait, 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 you still saying Francis what? ain't going to win, and now you saying he going to draw. You ain't seen nothing on Francis yet. I mean, on stainless. At this point, based off the training information, I know the statistics on their body types, what I seen when he was going, <laughs> I did see Francis in there with Domi. You know what I'm saying? I see it being a draw from based what? off of what I do know, bruh, bruh, no, bro, neither bro, one of them has stood bro, out more bro, than the bro, other. For, hold up, bro, hold up, hold up. In terms yeah. of novice, right, that have fought on Border Wars, right? What other dude, yeah. right? What other dude that never fought before, never sparred before, never had training in boxing, looked as good as Francis? Just name some of the people. You know everybody. Matt looks better than. What? The and hips no. look. Yo, you. Bro, oh, the, he don't like his, you. He the don't punches like you. were. Nah, it's good. I, I get it. He don't like you, friend. He don't Canadian. Fuck with you. He don't like Canadians. It's all good, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Matt was Canadian. nice in the Canadian. ring. He just good. was weak as hell. He was weak as hell. He was nice. Matt had footwork. Yo, he called. He said. He said Matt. He said Matt got more technical skill than that. Yo, yo, who Matt else had the... technical skill. No, Matt was yo, just weak Matt, as hell. He nah, was extremely weak. Suspect shit. Hell yeah, he's suspect. Listen, we definitely need to know the rest of the committee on the pound for pound now. If you you out here rating Matt on skills, we need to know who's rating <laughs> Matt. Whoa, 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 whoa. These are the low level people, low lower level people. Yeah, no, I'm saying we ain't talking about pound yo, for pound or none of none of that. Yo, Matt, hey, yo, you tripping right now. coming at you today. Call your low-level yo, people, there's, everything, man. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. I love it. There's nothing I love wrong it. with Matt. You know what? But, but, but to, for you know, him to I throw you in that category, that's, that's, that's murder. He's home with this Canadian on his mind. I promise you that. That's the category I see him at. That's the category I see him at. Damn. <laughs> bro, all right, bro. You, 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 I mean, next time, just tell him you don't like him, man. Just straight up. <laughs> nah, going I around like Bush, Francis. I, I really no. like him. More than anything, more than anything, I like him as a promoter. I really do like the guys. He can promote <laughs> anybody that can go toe to toe with you on promoting. You know what I'm saying? With the arguments, with the making a case for a specific fighter, things of that nature. Oh, they got to have some heart. You know what I'm saying? Yo, now you got He's pretty chat. good at that. You got hey. the chat talking about Matt, man. They bring it. Yo, y'all terrible, He's man. Kids, y'all. Oh. He's dead. Bro, well, killing it. Bro, Matt Both needs to do some like damn push up. Twenty bro. minute call, man. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Yo, Bo, man, thanks for your call, man. Thanks for your call. Oh man, yo, that was fun. Oh uh, shit, that was fun. Uh, damn, yo, he just don't like you, man. That's crazy, hey. yo. You know, hey, you know, told like me a long time ago that not everybody gonna like me. I'm cool with it. But one thing you gonna do <laughs> is you gonna fucking respect me. I promise you that. Mm. That, that, that that's how it is. Like when someone does, but you know what they say about respect, when, right? Like, nah, nah, but when someone talking. does it like quietly like that, and the way he's talking, that, that's funny, man. Yo, <laughs> it was you, all like chill, but just but throwing some proper dish, man. <laughs> but you know what they say about respect, right, Francis? Of course. <laughs> exactly. So you got you got you got to earn it, man. When you get that win, then he gonna, then he gonna have. To, I just I just think it's dis disrespectful with tape out there. Like do me, you did power with both men, Matt the hips, the huds, and Francis. Who had more natural ability? The first time you started doing power work with each, the first you know time me. ever. You know me, man. I, I don't tell no stories, man. Francis. Oh, all right. I thought you was gonna <laughs> say I don't tell no stories. Like that's between coach and fight. I'm like work. <laughs> Yeah, nah, nah. I mean, it's just I, I can honestly just be honest about that. You know, it's uh, not that not that uh, Matt didn't gain uh, uh, skills through his uh, uh, journey and in, in, in his two border war show ups, but in that in the first time I ever held pads for Francis and Cornell Francis, he's never really you know 
taken this, you know, and, and done it the way he's doing it now. So it's, uh, it was, I liked, I liked what I saw. If if I didn't, I would have told him there and then. I I don't really like gassing people up, you know, and I like to tell them what they're really good at and and, and things like that. No, and, Midi. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Hold on, hold on, Midi. Before you go, let me tell you something. Before I got to Dallas, I went uh-huh. to call my boy. Yo, bro, I gotta hit pads because I ain't trying to go to Dallas looking like no clown. But I've done, done this before. Oh, so you tried. Hit pads like a week before. Like a week, maybe a week and a half before. I and I was see. like, all right, bet. I'm, yeah, I can do this. I can I do this. See. When I, I got see. with you, I, I was like, dude, me, just put me through the paces, bro. I, I learned real fast. I'm going to catch it. Don't worry. <laughs> so, so do me, do me. Like, who, who's got more pop then? Like, oh, come on. Francis. <laughs> Francis, man. <laughs> Francis has a lot more pop. You know, nothing uh, for yo, Matt, Matt, Matt Superfly Division 2, you know, he's not, he's. He's not carrying. Well, I'm, just, I'm just asking a genuine question because I remember you were saying like, that Matt's got some pop. So I, I man, no, Matt, Matt, you know Matt, Matt, Matt had a good, uh, a good jab, <laughs> you know, at times. Matt's having but, fun with this. But, nah, but nah, I got, nah, I nah. Say, hold on, wasn't hold on, enough, hold you know? on. No, 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 yeah. no, no. Matt showed power twice in the gym and sparring what? jersey and in the fight with Warren. He hit him with that right hand, bro. That shit was right. Yeah. 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 It was one shot that I got to give him credit for. It is. Uh. It is true. He did pop his head a little bit, but um, I, don't know. I mean, you yo, who knows what we would have saw of Matt? You know, Matt would have kept developing. Who knows if he's still doing his thing once in a while? But you know, it's this is the type of thing, man. Mumble, muscle memory, muscle memory, right, Mitty? Like you had to keep doing yeah. this. Man. Yeah, man. Like. Yeah. I don't know, like no, nah, but like obviously that was a that was a joke kind of thing. Like Matt is like <laughs> what like 30, 40 pound lighter than like <laughs> than Francis, man. Yeah. But so yeah. I, I do hope that Francis got more pop than Matt. <laughs> Bro, I, 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 I was so I was cool. trying to smooth over that hey, joke. Yo, <laughs> hey yo, you know what's so funny about that, Ness? Let me tell you something. Yo, I'm already I'm already <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely not making a pound for pound list with Bowen back there. <laughs> Nah, nah. I know you can do it, man. You got the, you got the. But bruh, but bruh, I'm see, I'm in Mount Kilimanjaro, bro. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta stop encouraging getting on a pound for pound list with one fight, man. Get out of here. Why would why would you be on the list after one fight with stainless just two novices? Just chill. You you, you just nah. can't roll with something, can you? Nah, I gotta yeah. be. I gotta be. Hey, man, I gotta be just the, trying to I gotta, do like. I gotta keep no. the. I gotta keep the. Hey. I gotta keep the integrity. You, you gotta be fair. You gotta be fair to Francis. I gotta keep the integrity Francis, of the league uh, no. there, but man. Ness, but Ness, you gotta be fair, fair with Francis, man. We talked about like Fantastic Four for people that have just arrived, like Ryan, man. So why not, man? If if Francis wins, we talk about a Fantastic Four in Border Wars. What man. what is yo Francis? What's your what's your two twenty twenty one uh for your four fights? You got your first one. What's what's the next three look like? Can I? I don't know, because after this fight, the list gonna get longer. No, I know, Ooh. but but if you I'm gonna have had, more people to choose from, but, I don't know. But but you got people to choose from now. Yeah, yeah. we leaving that there. More's you coming. Want, you want uh, Troy? You, you want Esteban? No comment. More's coming, you man. Why am I gonna pigeonhole home myself? There might be bigger fights. He don't want to talk bigger fights. <laughs> Who's your four fights? Who's your four fights? Yo, you. I w- I'm gonna let you pick them. No, your four. <laughs> fights. I'm gonna let you pick them. Let me pick them. Let, let me pick them. Let me pick them. I'll bring people for this. Don't worry. <laughs> He's bringing people for you. Yeah, we got D in the south. D in the south. D in the South fell asleep in the South. Yo, Ness GTO, Instagram, and Twitter. Catch us on the next one, man. Before we go, we had two super chats that I caught eye of. Uh-oh. If you guys saw another one, let me know. But Shistoff Shizzy says, uh, quote of 2021, he squats well. <laughs> oh, <my>. Fucking <laughs> Mitty, bro. Mitty ain't. Like, Yo. Who said that, man? Like, Shistoff <laughs> Shizzy, man. <laughs> They killing me with Yo, that. Yo, I just know, just know my money's on this six one middleweight, man. <laughs> my money's on this six one middleweight to 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 start shocking dudes like, oh, wait a minute. 
<laughs> <She knows. laughs> Do you know what everybody said? Yeah. Well, is there another one? That's it. Yeah, Donald yeah. Banks came in and said, uh, Hey, Ness, we should do a border wars for our kids. My 17-year-old daughter says she would love to be able to come with me and fight also. Is she not a kid, though? 17-year-old like that? She can do regular, no? She, she can definitely do Amis. Uh, future, I, I future, man. Well, you know, right now, future, just children yeah. is liability right now, man. We got to start We gotta start getting the, the events to a level where... All the boxes are checked and mm. no mistakes are made. That's then, important. Then Very we important. can then we can take on new uh things yeah. like children. That's just a yeah. whole different layer of yeah. uh you know Ooh. liability. <laughs> liability, man. It's all like first elders on site, at least if you have children and all that. But yeah. like yeah. you're right, like you know, getting like the proper checks as it grows, right? That, that's, yeah, that should be the goal. 100 percent what else we got Alex? we are done man we are done we are done we are done it was fun uh glad people i see people are actually saying that we were entertaining today i really rarely see that so thank you thank you uh, it was, it's I, it's I know both, it was the midi both, comment both with that it was the whole midi, it was the whole midi <laughs> uh the whole midi fucking uh he, the squats man he see him squat it's like, it's all good. it's all good i hope we could get i hope we could get esteban a fight i hope y'all don't duck esteban so that that division could get very interesting yeah 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 you already know what it is man next up sports talk i got to do my thing for my yachties whether you're their yacht or their brat big up yourself give yourself a hug tell yourself you love yourself in case nobody's telling you that they love you. You the best. You the champ. Don't forget it, man. New year, new things. Get yourself right. Get up. Get yourself in shape. Eat right. Do what you got to do. Love on people that's around you, that's loving on you. And um, just know that somebody out here care about you, man. TBV, we care about you. We appreciate you. Next up, Sports Talk, NEX, UP, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Thank you to my Lord and Savior for another one. Because without him, none of this would be possible. Francis, signing off. They gonna have to send their best fighter for the champ. Oh, yo, so yeah, Coach Mide, see you on Thursday. You already know, Alex Doomsday Linus. This is uh, on IG, Alex underscore Doomsday underscore L A I N E Z. TikTok, I think I lost the account information. Uh, Twitter, Alex Linus TBV. And uh, this is the Boxing Voice. If you just thought moved upon the program, we're bringing you the latest and greatest in boxing news. And uh, come kick it. Voice your opinion on the voice of the people hotline through Skype or through the number that you see readily available at the top of our thumbnail. And uh, if you like the show, hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell notification because if it ain't shaking, you ain't baking with us every morning and every other time we go live. And if you're interested in that membership support. Or, you know, taking advantage of all these perks that we got going. We got emojis. We got different uh, tier levels for different type of content. We got some exclusive content that we got out there, depending on what tier you choose to be on. But go check it out. The description in the video has the link. And if you're on the chat and you want to go ahead and check this out, just click on the little pin uh, on the left-hand corner of the top of the chat and uh, you should see the link readily available. Thank you guys. This is uh, Alex Linus. Alex Linus signing off. You got Mr. Ness, GTO, Francis, Next Up Sports, and Coach Middy, who uh, everybody in Border Wars seems to have him as the prime trophy. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's coming for your head, Po. Gee. That's why you don't want to lose weight. <laughs> That's why tomorrow we losing some weight, champ. We'll you see. and I. You and I. Peace. Nope. Peace. Peace. Peace.